Oh, baby, Siver. Skarner. Skarner. Whoa. We're really going to do him like that? We're going to play total face roll zero skill team comp? <laughs> Flowers is excited. Skarner main. Skarner yep. is actually so fucking broken. The key is to picking it against LPL who has no mechanical way of outplaying that champ. Or buying a QSS. It's just not possible. No. QSS tax is too insane. You just need to... You, you can't get behind on that IE, you know, or... Or death cap or anything. You just... Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. Guess I'll die. I will just die. Honestly, though, Skarner puts so much pressure on the, on the enemy team that if one person buys QSS, it pressures everyone else to buy QSS because... It's not really very useful for just one guy to have it. Because then Skarner will just not ult that guy and go for someone else. So, yeah. Depends on your team comp. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it depends on the team comp. But it's like, if you're playing like two squishy-ass backline champs. Yeah, yeah. And your mid laner buys QSS, you're like, okay, fuck you. I guess I have to now since I'm the only target. <laughs> um, it ends up being really funny. The tax True. is huge. Didn't uh, didn't Hoon die a shitload last week? Hoon? Yeah, he yeah. was. I was like watching their game, and Hoon actually looks like he's choking under the pressure. The Dignitas <laughs> legacy. His his. I was like raging so hard watching his sedge because he's like doing like point blank cues for a point five second knock up and then instantly dying like. Why don't you just throw your ulti first like a regular Sedge player would? This is his first time on stage, I think, right? Like, yeah, I uh, guess so. Like last week, I guess. It's really fucked up that it make these guys like Kuhn and Gamsu make me legit miss the Fate God version of Dig. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Spawn. Spawn, oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't recognize his face, but I saw him in the slot. I see him. The AD slot. Whoever does did the roster building for Dig is like just hardcore griefing. I mean, it's hard to say that sometimes because sometimes things just don't work. Like you could, in theory, pick good people that you think are good players, and then sh sh shit happens, doesn't work, whatever. But it it's hard to know. I mean, it's, some teams have to lose, right? Like there has to be a tenth place team. That's true, but hmm. I don't know. It's kind of there weird. does like, have to be a tenth place team, but I feel like for Dig, they were pretty solid. Yeah, I mean they went down from where they, they were. They went super downhill and they sold their jungler. It's like it's like they gave up. Yeah, that, I, I, that I seemed do random. Think it's like they gave up. It it feels really bad for the viewers and even for the other teams in LCS to know that like one team just they do not care about. I mean, this is so funny to say. They're not willing to do what it takes to win. And so they're like willing to sell off their best player just to like cut some losses. Uh -huh. it, it feels like that is one of the things that people get upset about with franchising that like, do these guys really want it? There's, you know, some people would like the old days when it's just like five dudes who really fucking wanted, they making an LCS. Yeah. Kicking somebody yeah. out. That was sick. Damn, TL's comp is so face roll, it's crazy. In, in like a good way. Like, I like it. Wait, which one? Like, TL's comp is just TL's so... Comp? Uh -huh. It's so just low execution. But I like when good teams play low execution comps because you have a really low chance of losing or misplaying. Yeah. Very easy. Sibber, by the way. Uh yeah, and I fucking hate her early game. <laughs> oh, it's miserable. I, I think I think going W level one is a bait. I don't even know, bro. Like her Q just does the most negative damage ever. If you hit but both sides, can, isolated can, like, sure. With it. Yeah. When you go W level one and you start pushing and they just they just walk at you. You end yeah. up pushing the wave out in a situation where you can't fight. 
Yeah, that, that can hate. be really awful. If they can just he fight was you. Like, you might hit two Qs and zone them off and get the push, but most of the time you're just gonna farm. Yo, what's Bracken? Yo. Yo. What's Actually, up, what's up? Ghost on both ADs. Do you think that Hans should buy items? Is that good on server or no? <laughs> mm, not this game. I think it's in the Zeri matchup. You don't really need a starting Maybe item. He's it's going just for too the easy. Pickaxe first buy. <sighs> yeah. Two Actually, down. he does have items. It's just always glitched on spectator. Same with Nar. That's weird. Okay, there it is. Let's see what a Sivir starts. You guys feel about this ghost AD carry meta? I love it. I actually think it's. It it's makes AD so carry so much toxic, more fun. bro. I I actually hate it so much, especially these champs because they're already way too fast. Hmm. It strong? is super, super scaling. Yeah, I, I th it's like unfair as fuck, I think. Yeah, it's it's very defensive, I would say. Where like, you can... The thing I've noticed playing it a bunch is... You can chase people down the lane in a way that was impossible with heal. So if your jungle is coming and you have a numbers advantage, you just literally ghost and start autoing them down the lane. And then the other thing about it is like, sometimes I would normally have to flash when I'm getting ganked or roamed on, but I, instead I, I I will just ghost and save a pretty important spell. Um, but it, the problem with ghost is it's still the early fighting is so shit with it. You just need a scale. Yeah. I mean, wor worse than heal in terms of a fight. Yeah. But I've been playing a lot of like Twitch, Zarya, and Sivir, and I think those champs just get crazy value out of ghost. I feel like Twitch wouldn't get that much, but maybe. I haven't played it. Oh, it's it's Delph with Ghost? You're so fast. Yeah, but you don't really I need that. I said, would that. you stealth with the yeah, Ghost? Yeah, you, you so get fast. random timings on AD carries who, like, would normally be fine. But, like, because you stealth ghosted down the lane, you you end up catching them when, like, their, their internal timer is kind of off. Yeah, It I lasts guess. so fucking long. And also, in team fights, it's totally insane for space gliding just... Ult and kite. Fucking space uh, gliding. <laughs> never yeah, heard that. It's the red IRL term. It's the red IRL term, man. Really? Never heard it. What, what? is it? What does it mean? I don't know. I, I actually means, don't know it what means it means. Just, it means just like fucking or walking backwards, honestly. It just, he just made up a stupid term for it. Uh -huh. is, it is it when your ult's going? It's usually when I've heard it referred to, but I don't know the specifics. I don't know. I've heard people talk about space gliding with like a bunch of champs now also this is the biggest problem with zeri i, I think zeri zeri is one of those champs where it's like useless as fuck but then if you can somehow manage to get to three items you're 1v5 and I, I hate that about her i think it's pretty similar in sivir honestly yeah that like, makes sense like but i actually to crack in. I mean, a little bit. I don't know. I fucking hate myself every time I'm playing Sivir until I get like two items and I'm like, all right, like I'm okay. You don't hate the champion, you hate yourself? Holy shit. Yes. My, I, I actually get upset bad. at my fucking Q doing legit negative damage. Sneaky is uh, I mean, it, struggling it, it, with some self confidence issues. <laughs> it, it, it does nothing. Isn't that part of her rework though? Like the Q is pretty nerfed, but like her W is Giga. Her, w, her W is not even her, Giga. No, honestly, her, her W feels legit somehow worse than it was was before. Like both of all of her abilities actually somehow feel worse than before, but it, the payoff is so insane. Wait, like, how the, is her W worse? Well, so, no, it, it's it early like years. the bouncing is worse in terms of damage, unless you're like bouncing between you know yes. their, their whole team basically. It, it did more damage at level one before. Because you didn't need for it to RNG like bounce to the same guy twice, you know. Yeah. And you and still got the decent part is the fact that you get the attack speed before six, and you get like as many Ws as you can fit in, like with autos. Whereas before it was limited to three. Yeah, at level one you get four, and then super late in the game you get you can get like six or seven, and it's like it feels insane, but. I think they just really leaned. What like I, I was watching the preseason thing. When one thing that Riot is talking about, like the developers are talking about, is like 
when they do a rework, they want to super lean into the champion's strengths and fantasy. So, like, in order to balance it, they have to make... They basically have to make the champs more pointy, right? Like, Swain is a super tank, but he does, like, negative damage, for example. And, like, Sivir is a super scaler, but she, she also does negative damage, really, uh, with the rework. Yeah. I... I like it, but it's frustrating sometimes. I think as a jungler too, you probably play against tw these champs and like, you know that they're turds for the first 10 minutes, like, and then they hit a point where you're just getting farmed. Yeah, I, she actually crazy hard carries at like three items, Sivir. Yeah. yeah. She definitely feels way like, stronger with that. The ones you mentioned like Zeri, Twitch and they're, they're toxic. I actually haven't had games run over by Sivir that often. Hmm. But, like, I kind of played junglers that are, like, pretty good against hyper carry AD carries. Oh, oh almost got wow. the. Yeah, it was almost, almost a trade. I was playing with Prismal in Champions Q, and, you know, he's, like, a former AD carry as well. So, I do respect his knowledge, I guess, even though he's new to support. Um, and he was saying that, like, a lot of people think Zeri is horrible now every, after the change. And it really changed my perspective, because for me, I was always like, I just want to play Zeri, and, like, I'm useless, yeah, but, like, I'll get to a point where I'm, like, 1v5, right? I'm, mm. I'm worth, like, 1.5 times their AD carry. And then I, I reached this point where I realized, like, if I'm if I'm a good player and the enemy team is good, too, do I really want to be playing Zeri? Because, like, what just fucking... Sivirakon is not a good lane, by the way. This is actually a, one of, one, a horrible lane. Sivirakon would get run the fuck over by a regular bot lane, like a Callista Renata or something. They would just get farmed. But mm -hmm. like, they're legit bullying, diving, and shitting on them. I what just... makes this lane bad? Like, to me, on paper, at least, it, it, it's like, just. Isn't it, I thought Sivir is hard to shit on. Is that not the case? So weak and all in. Like, if a Draven walks up to you, she and starts hitting you, you can't do anything. Yeah, like yeah, Draven, I mean, Dr Callista, Draven, one hundred percent. Twitch will counter you. Uh, like, like Draven, Luger Callista, Twitch, and LCS. Twitch yeah. Vayne. The reason why Luger picked Twitch and LCS is because I shit on him <laughs> when he was blinding Sivir in Champions Q. Like you, you can't play the game. You you really cannot, especially when the enemy to carry goes ghost and just walks you down. Wait, who's Dig Hoon? Uh oh, he's a new uh -oh. guy. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh wow. Yo, uh, I... he's actually Zeus reborn. Uh oh. Yeah. I don't oh, know. you. This... Oh my! Wow, he oh, actually gets out. Oh, good ward, good ward. <laughs> wait, 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 who gave him vision? He pink warded so he could e over the wall. Good job. Well nice. Played. That's close. I ran to XU and Soul here recently, and it, he seemed like he was down horrendously bad. He had like 30% win rate in his recent games, and he's just mercilessly inting on Nartop. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. He was inting on Nartop. Do you guys ever notice that, like, where? You play against someone that you know just got out of a bad set of scrims, and they're just like the biggest fucking demon ever in solo queue. <laughs> oh, dude, a hundred percent. I thought Solo was gonna get legit banned from CQ for this shit he was saying. Doctor it was actually insane that he would say that, like while I'm streaming. Yeah. What was he saying? Um, he was just spam pinging, spam ffing, and say and pinging the enemy top laner and say, "Come on, dive this guy, play the fucking game, guys." Like. In super, Champions Q? Yes, like super toxic and spam FFing the entire time because like... How is he not banned? Isn't I thought that was like pretty explicitly against the rules. I, I'm not going to be that guy, bro. I'm not going to be that guy who's like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> but Get this out of my, my team, I 100% would. Fuck that shit, yeah, dude. dude. I'm be a fucking... Come on, dude. Like, it, he, he just, he's having a bad day, like... If it, if it happens regularly, then obviously maybe I'll say something, but... Yeah. I just Pretty rare was... of Solo to have behavior problems. That's just so unlike him. That's true. I've... He's always known for just being <laughs> so strong mentally. <laughs> I wonder if Solo knows that I fucking vouch for him to get an LCS spot, though. That guy, I, 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 you know, as much as... He does some, some weird shit sometimes. I, th I thought he'd be pretty good. I mean, oh. I think play-wise, he's always been pretty good. Like, oh, wow. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Bjergsen! So low. So low kill. So low All kill. getting his flash. I have a... 
Have you guys been getting shuffled a lot against Azir? No. Oh, okay. I I hate the mind game where like he he shuffles on you right, and like if you preemptively flash, then he just flash follows you and shuffles you anyways. Oh. But like uh -huh. if you wait and you try to react, it, the reaction time test can sometimes like fuck you over. Like I, I I'm like lean on the side of like I preemptive flash. If Azir shuffles on me, my gut reaction is like honestly I get kind of panicked and I just flash when he goes melee on me. And then he just the flash shuffles and I die anyways. Um. Trying really hard, like right there, you know, blue blue probably was trying to react, but the f it's fucking fast, man. Like see. if I was blue here, I I would just insta. I think. I mean, he kind of just didn't, right? Like I don't. He, yeah, he, he, he played this pretty troll. Yeah, it, it was bad. It was bad. Not the best example, but like, if if Bjergsen has more space and blue does the preemptive flash, then like yeah, you can, can still, still catch him. Shuffled. Yeah. yeah. I think you're definitely better off just flashing on the defensive side. And then if the Azir plays it well, then props. Nothing yeah, you can do. Yeah, sure. Dude, he's about to get fucked right here. This he is stopwatch. a TL special. Oh my uh, god. Every fucking ability on him. <laughs> he was so ex extended behind your start like that. <laughs> he really was. You can't be that far up against Bjergsen. That's a tier 2 <laughs> angle. <laughs> my goodness, man. You dare step foot in Bjergsen's turf? Dude, I took my dog to the vet this morning. Cause like, I just for like a uh, vaccine appointment. And I got trolled so hard. Like I got there and then they're like, oh, looks like we scheduled this a week earlier than we should have. Like we, we gotta wait another week for the follow up vaccine. So like, can you just come back? I tried already like fucking Ubered out there. Very oh, sad. Griefed. Yeah, yep. that's, that's actually never happened to me where I show up for an appointment and like I get. They even away. scheduled it. Like they were like, "Yo, does the state work?" I was like, "Yo." Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Wait, Santorin oh. did the thing so fast. Oh. Yo, he actually did the tech. What's the tech? Wait, is he alive? You... Oh. Yeah. That was so close. Oh my god. Okay, so it's this Skarner tech that, like, some Skarner main did it to me repeatedly, and it was really annoying. But, like, what you do is you E them, but, like, you don't proc the stun. You So, like, you E them, and then you ult them, right? And then you stun them after the ult, so they're stunned, and then your E will almost be back up again. So, you, like, it basically ends up being, like, an ult into two different stuns, and it's just, like, you're CC forever. Wait, that's pretty cool. I, I didn't realize that's what he did. Yeah, he didn't get the second E, but, like, he did the E and then R, and then proc the stun. That yeah. is pretty, that's pretty good. Do you, so if the AD carry or if like the player is mashing flash, can they flash before you get the auto off to proc the stun? Let's see it. I'm sure right here, spawn is mashing flash. So he is. I think he did I, I flash. Think, I think it'll look yeah. like that. Like oh, he, he, he flashes, but the stun still, but the goes, stun off. still goes That's really strong. Yeah, and then I think, like, I, I don't know what level of ability haste or whatnot to, like, be able to get the follow-up E while they're still stunned with that one, but, like, that was happening to me a lot, and it was pretty fucking hard to play against. Yeah. 11. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff, like, mechanics like that with melee champs that, like, follow Flash. And that those mechanics are s always, like, super hidden OP. I think one of them that always happens in LCS is Wukong Flash EQ. It seems like no matter how fast you flash react to that, the Q always goes off. So you see people just like flash oh, and yeah. just get 500 I, so, range Wukong Q'd and die anyways. So I think the only way that doesn't happen is if you flash out of his vision. Like if you flash into a bush, it won't connect. That makes but sense. But as long as he still has vision on you, the, like once it, the animation gets past a certain point, it'll always connect. Yeah. That Same with like Kha'Zix Q, like flash away from Kha'Zix Q. I, a lot of times I see people get killed. Just because, like, he's already oh. started up enough of the wind-up that it'll yeah. finish. Yeah, that makes sense. But, like, you can try that, actually. Like, if you flash into a bush, like, it can actually Whoa. save you. The spinning monkey, man. What is happening here, by the way? This is so weird. What yeah, I don't the know. It's like Dink's just in full retreat. Ooh. Well, like, they got Dude, that's, dragged. that's the thing you were talking about. Double. Oh. Hold up. I, I want to. Where I didn't did pit. I was Whippo watching and Santorin go. Whippo and Santorin were in the weirdest spot ever on the top. <laughs> I, I was confused how they even got there. Like, how did they end like, up? 
they must have been killing Talia, right? And then just yeah, I see. Killed Talia and tried to cut off Dig and just died. <laughs> so cut themselves off. Yeah. Is he a play for late game type of guy? There we go. Hmm. Oh, okay, so they're showing it. So they oh, okay. dive onto blue. He stopwatches for time. Yeah, he gets. They're just abducted and then. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Totally not worth. I. I don't. Maybe TL I think thought. Whippo back eat a minion there at the start, didn't he? Yeah, maybe. I'm not convinced that it mattered too much, but it did look like that. Yeah, I, I was just saying because like. I feel like they lean more into it when I think of enchanters. Like, yeah, they do have some helping abilities, but like Seraphine only has like her W strong. Don't get me wrong, but she only really has one ability that's really even helping the team, and it's kind of on a long cooldown. Yeah, I think Seraphine's a super scaler. You need to hit level thirteen, have five points in your W before you're actually playing like an enchanter would, where you're like standing on your team. Yeah. Oh before my then. God. Oh. God, that was a kidnapping. <laughs> yeah, Sivir Sivir Skarner seems like a bottom tier team should try playing this and just try to timing a, a better team than them, where you just only go for unfair fights like that. Dude, you gotta do the the season two team normal stars throwback. We did Skarner jungle with Morgana for Black Shield and then Jace for the speed up. Oh my god, that sounds so crazy. It was crazy. so fucking fun. Yeah, and if. If they pay, if they pay the QSS tax, it's like a huge advantage for your team fighting. It's like the CLG Vigalio Recon thing, or like yeah, oh, I think yeah. it was like Vigalio Camille. I don't even remember, but it was it was just somebody said it was like Bronze Zodia in LCS. Like yeah, they. How 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 much realistic time does it take to practice a comp like that? You would probably learn it in one day, and then the enemy team is just gonna have to ban it because like it's. Why would they want to give you something so easy to play? Or you can rack up some free wins. I think it's good. Yeah, so in my experience playing Skarner, uh, it's, like if you're on a lower tier team playing Skarner, I feel like a lot of times you just like lose games before Skarner can do anything. Because he's like kind of useless early game. No, that's true. He's really weak. But I think there's no jungler in the game that's good if you're going to lose the game bef before you hit six as jungler. That means you can't play like half the junglers in the game, like Diana... Mm -hmm. Rack. Yeah, I mean, you you literally have to pick something that's like giga strong early game and just hope an early gank works out, and then you have like a big advantage to play off of. Yeah. True. Oh, this Baron's dead. That's really insane. That that top and top and mid can just two man and it buff. It isn't Baron buffed up, or, or is this not buffed up uh, on the first Baron? Or what? Like, is the first Baron tankier than before, or is it only second? And like later game, I don't think it changes based on kills, does it? I thought they, they made all the objectives tankier. Am I crazy? They made dragon they made way dragon tankier. They made dragon giga tanky, sure. yeah. And second herald is way tankier. But I don't know if they changed. I think second the herald. It's only like on the, summon. The second herald you summon is tankier. Yeah. But at the same time, to me that feels like such a useless buff because like herald does a shit ton of like, he does like seventy percent of his max HP to himself when he charges. I think it helps a little bit, they, but yeah, they, they it's made not crazy. it so the second herald doesn't That's do three. as much of its own HP. Like it doesn't suicide. Does it it's not. Hard. It still does for sure. I think it does. It, 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 sorry, it doesn't do it as much. Like it'll be able to get off more charges. So they basically increase the value of second herald. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been playing with it a lot, and it's it still like dies. I think it. They just gave it health so that it doesn't run into the issue of like dying before it actually like gets its charge off. Oh, I see, I see. The it, dragon change it, is so weird, dude. Feel like anything. Have you tried soloing a drag as AD? Yeah, no, it's fucking hard. It's literally it takes so long. Like, actually takes longer than killing a Baron. Somehow. Obviously not solo, yeah, I mean, but. That dragon what thing. What the fuck oh! is Spawn doing? He doesn't even die. Wait, he doesn't die. Oh my Scar god. Dies. He's owning them. Hans just actually fucking turned around and killed Gore. Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I thought like, he killed Hansel someone. Three shot Gore. <laughs> oh, with Renata ult? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I mean, I'm, that ability is so insane. 
Oh, yeah, here's a question. It almost feels like you need cleanses Is, and AD carry. Are you guys watching instead. Blue's Cues? No. I was just... Oh, Blue's Cues? I watched Blue's it when Q's, I was a kid. Yeah. It's a good show. Okay. All right, here's, uh, it looks here's like here's he's a legit first time to Leah. For Renata interaction. Say you're Callista and you get Renata ulted and you spear teammates. When, yeah, when you push you E, them? what happens? I would guess it doesn't hurt them, but I'm not sure. Dude, I had a really interesting. My my chat had a really interesting question, which is if Nami is on your team, and and she gives you E, and then you get Renata ulted, can Nami proc electrocute on herself? Probably. Uh, yeah. I would guess can, it would. I don't know if. Yeah, I'm not sure. Pro probably. I think most runes work. I would love to see like a fucking Mythbusters video about this shit, because it's really unique. Yeah. Mythbusters. Yeah. The the Ren doesn't work, yeah. Yes, you're right. <clears throat> like, How it doesn't you know? hit your teammate. It had to happen in solo queue. <laughs> my, uh... guy, my teammate was literally 1 HP with the Ren Spears on him. Like, does this kill him? And I pushed E and it didn't. Can I get a reset <laughs> here on my chunk? You had a guinea pig moment with your fucking teammate, dude. Yeah, I did. I'm like, I'm going to see if this kills this guy. <laughs> Uh oh. Will they escape? I don't think so. Surely Why is this Zeri just get tickling everyone? Nah, dude, that's the thing about Zeri. You're doing no damage slash tickling everyone until you're not. Then I mean, you're just three items, though. chunking. When does he start not tickling? I don't think he hit anybody. Yeah, he, he can't do his full DPS. And I think a huge percentage of Zeri's damage comes from Empowered W now. Yeah. Mm. Like, they didn't want her to do that, like, as much damage as a regular AD carry without hitting W. Dude, so I, I think the Azir shuffle thing that you were talking about, like, Bjergsen did it earlier, and I'm pretty sure Azir can, like, start the shuffle while he's still in his E, right? Yeah, he can. So that does make it really hard to, like, try to reaction flash or, like, see if Azir's going to flash at you first. So yeah. You kind of have to flash before he even finishes his shuffle, and then. You just have to have crazy, crazy eyes to see and react to what's happening. Or, you know, if. It's not realistic, it feels like. I've been playing against. His... We've all been playing against Azir since he was released. It's so hard. I. I think yeah. most people should just get, get into the habit of just insta flashing when he, he goes on you, because, like you said, you can buffer shuffle in, but. Now, like, I see I see what a really common tactic is, is you just EQ melees, like, you shuffle, you don't shuffle, sorry, you, you go, like, your EQ combo directly melee on somebody, and you just stab them once, and you just wait for a sec. And sometimes people will just instant flash, sometimes they'll just stand there, and then you can just shuffle a little later than normal anyways. But, fucking, mm -hmm. I actually think Azir is just so broken. Fuck that champ. Ah. <sighs> AG for Golden Garden Stab. Yeah, these games are kind of one-sided as fuck. Maybe game three is... Mm, game three and four is unironically probably the most close. Uh, yeah. Between all these. It's crazy to think that CLG versus TSM is like... Wait. What am I saying? CLG is way better. I, I'm disrespecting CLG's standings right now. They're they're tied with Team Liquid. Yeah, CLG is kind of popping off this split. Yeah. They're not Are bad. They? What's their record? 11 wins? I think they're like 42 they're, and 0. 11 and 4? Something like that. Oh, mm. yeah. That sounds more right, actually. It doesn't feel right to say that is the top 3 team this split. I mean, technically, they're top 4 because they're tied for 3rd. But... Standings don't mean everything, though. I, I don't think they're going to end the split. Top really? Four, You're but... still downing them? I think they've looked pretty solid. Um, I think Luger was playing really well last split, but he fell off a bit. And I think Contract's playstyle is like, it's too crazy. And not in like, <sighs> like certain players, I'm like, damn, that guy's a mad scientist. Like he just makes it work. But like for Contracts, I'm like, <laughs> this guy just takes crazy risks. And I think a lot of times it's just been flipping correctly for him. But I don't Calculated know. risks that he gets away with. Yeah, it's like, damn, that was stupid as hell, but it worked. Um, I don't know if it's going to keep working, but it worked that time.
Said Jwody. The quick little Sedge top blind pick. Technically, Sedge can be a jungle flex, but it sounds useless against Sivir. That sounds like shit. Here. Really? I, I have I no mean, idea. Azir, Sedge, is. jungle. Oh, mid, you're right. Like, that's, that's, oh, that's awful. That's very they, questionable. They need, a, they need heavy physical damage from jungle right now, or their comp is going to be kind of weak. I also think Speedy that go. you should be really careful playing shit like uh, Zeri Azir because it. You, you can get jabated into fighting an early fight where if you had any other set of champions, you would win. But like Azir and Zeri both are complete turds for the first 10 minutes. Who would you rather play uh, here, Sneaky, between the two bot lanes? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's like very similar to the other matchup. Sivir, Rakan. Did they lock Jarvan? They just I don't took know. away champs like before he just locked his pick. I, I think that Zeri needs to play with a jungle, or sorry, a support that increases her damage by a, a huge. So the, basically, there's only two. There's just Yumi and, and Lulu. Yeah. Zeri's only weakness, in my opinion, she has literally everything. She has mobility, range, team fighting. She she can CS perfectly if she's getting pushed in, as long as you know you're practiced with it. The only weakness that she has is she does literally no damage compared to every other AD carry in the game. If you can get to a point where you're like one or two items, three items, and you haven't been getting fucked over, and your support adds to your damage, like you can you can two v five. Ooh, cold start for Danny. Is that cocky? I actually don't understand how that interaction works. So if if you Zeri Q and it splashes on three minions, do you get three times on hit value from the coal? Like, do you get nine HP instead of three HP? I'm gonna put it this way: I don't okay, think so Danny it, it is says, going coal against Goomba Yushi. It does Ruler. not apply on hits after the first. Oh, okay. Oh. Huh. Danny's just so doing this first. shit because he thinks he can get away with it, and like maybe he can, right? But. You're not gonna get away with this one potion versus three potion thing, uh, and no door HP. Double lift. Yeah, actually, true. I would fucking destroy him if he did this. <laughs> I would destroy so, him. It, it's so disrespectful. Like when someone does this shit, I I'll, I always just think like, wow, this guy has like too much confidence. He's too cocky. It there are, there are some matchups where you can go cold start. If I'm playing against like Seraphine bot lane, go for it. This game. You're fucking trolling, straight up. It's not good. But Sivir blows balls at laning. Yeah, but you're playing with, with an enchanter who's relying on you to stay high HP in the lane. I think Rakan and Wukong can straight just kill you 100-0 without Sivir's help at all. Perfect. Oh, dude. Also, I think Danny going cleanse is like so Ooh. much. Wow. Jesus. Danny Banani. That's yeah, what secret, I mean, dude. That's a confidence, baby. The secret value is when you start pushing and you're hitting their turret with coal. Oh, dude. Then they're absolutely tilted out of their mind. <clears throat> yeah, you're just actually getting health back on turret for no reason. So so this is part of their strategy, too, is Inspired started in their jungle. So it's a complete split map. And I don't even know if at this point... That's not how they, he started. <laughs> Wait, he didn't? He did, oh, he did red to red? No. He did red raptors to bot lane? Drugs? Yep. He oh. did bot lane gank. Oh! Wait a sec. Wow, that was so lucky. That turret shot. Yo, ghost out of there, baby. Dude, Woo! he's actually just running. Okay, he's dead. Running it down. Yo, he somebody has to flash it. Executed? Nope. No. Huh? Ghost to Lulu. <clears throat> no, he, he did, uh, he did, like, the... Apparently, it's pretty popular. Like, I saw Rush doing it. He was saying it was, like, I don't know, some, like, Chinese or... Korean strap, but like you do red raptors and then you just walk through mid, like you take a little bit of XP and then you go to their raptors so you can get three off raptors. But River did red raptors himself, so. Drugs? So, so yeah, I mean, so he, sorry. he just, he just moved toward bottom beat. Like you can do whatever you want off, after that route. Like the idea of it is usually to fight their jungler at level two. But, yeah. you know, if River does the route he does, which avoids the fight, then he's not going to be there to defend bot lane. And because they had the pushing bot, they looked for the dive. I see, I see. That was actually farm. a massive misplay by Vulcan to to take two tower shots and die there, because like I think Stixay would be omega fucked 
if he's 60s to 24 with the cold start, got dove, and didn't get a random kill. I mean, he got R assist, but... Rakan's still more CS than Sivir. Yeah. And this is <laughs> this is what I mean, by the way. Like, I don't think that you should go W level 1 on Sivir most games. I think it's... Maybe I'm missing something, but, like, whenever I do it, I think... If I was enemy to carry, I would be playing this really differently, and I think EG's bot lane knows that. They just literally walked at him. Like, he's, like, Danny was so in his face that he literally had to dodge, like, a point blank recon W with his movement alone. Like, they are playing really aggressive, because Sivir with W level 1 fucking sucks. It, it's not ability. That's some fucking Uzi type shit. <laughs> yeah. Bro, like, just go Q. I, I think... There are situations where you can still get level 2 first with Q, but, like, it's just going to be better. Do you still max Q on Sivir? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I saw some in, people fucking around with W start, or W max. Yeah, the In trolling. the beginning, some people were doing that. It, <laughs> it's, it's easier to, like, make it bad. <laughs> yeah. He has the strongest <laughs> opinion about Sivir. <clears throat> oh, I can tell you, it's complete dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> Go do a W max and watch yourself cringe to death. That's the only thing you will obtain. <laughs> Good cringe. Yeah. A nice little cringer. Neo said he loves Sivir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's really good and competitive, I think. Yeah, she is one of the most competitive champs. Fucking crazy scaler. Legit same thing as Zeri. Like, sometimes I'm not going to do well in solo queue because... You like need time on the champ and the game's gonna snowball, but competitive you can actually protect them and get to the so, late game. I guess my question to that would be what makes Sivir better now than bef the before the rework? Because that was always kind of her thing, right? Like, sure, her reset is actually pretty good. Like, with her ult, she gets her Q and W cooldown back. I mean, and yeah. E as well, but you get that, and then like when a kill happens with you know, assist or actual. Actually, no, I think you need to damage, right? I think you need to do damage, not just give him speed. But you get actual ulti speed reset, which snowballs fights really hard. And then the mm. the thing we mentioned where, like, you get, you know, potentially infinite number of attacks with W instead of just three, right? Hmm, makes so sense. You get more attack speed bonus, basically. I think it's a bunch of shit. Like, before... She had mana problems, like, real bad. That was balanced by her spell shield. So, like, that was the crutch. Like, you need to be getting spell shield value so you don't oom. And, like, every Sivir was just going Essence Weaver to, like, fix it mid-game. You don't need to do that anymore. You don't have any mana problems mid-game. I don't know how yeah. the fuck they balanced it. But, like, you actually go oom instantly early game. And then somehow by, like, time you have Kraken Slayer, you just push every wave, but you're fine. Um, mm -hmm. So she has, like, near infinite mana. Unless you're just hard spamming. She's way better at team fighting because, uh of her ulti reducing cooldowns, and uh, I think ultra late game, she's just insane. Wait, ha clarify how the ult reduces cooldowns? Like, I don't Every really time you attack, works. you get 0.5 seconds refunded on your abilities. Okay. Yeah, and, and the buff lasts a stupid amount of time. It's like 10 or 12 seconds. Where before, it was like, you got a burst of movement speed, and then it lasted a couple seconds afterwards, but now it's like the same buff the whole time, last 10 seconds, and extends on takedown, so you're you're just um, spamming auto attacks and spamming abilities. Yeah, it, it, she, her, it's actually weird. Like, her ulti is a lot less of, like, get your team in their ability, as more of it is, like, an actual combat Steroid. ability. Yeah, mm. it's really good. Like, if you use it to try to save teammates, it can actually fuck you pretty hard if you get into a fight. Oh, yeah. Okay, showing where Inspire did. 22! Oh, I see. I totally misread the situation. I thought that he just did three camps on this side. Wow, he dodged those creeps. Doesn't even get three. He says, fuck it. Would be nice to have Q right there to thin I, down I think the he, wave. He had three for the dive, didn't he? Did he? I mean, you would definitely get three from that. Mm. I don't think he finished the golems, but I mean, might be smoked. Uh, he got some XP from mid, so I think he was okay, actually. Oh. Uh, I guess it's true. He wouldn't like, even the, need to the, finish the whole thing. The idea of the thing. route is that like, you take some mid XP on your way. 
And then sometimes your mid laners will cry, but like I, I, I think most time it's just worth it because then like you have jungle <laughs> pressure and you're not really going to be getting punished. What the hell is happening here? I don't know, but Harold became so OP because of Harold's just the most broken thing ever right now. It's I don't know why they buffed it the way they did. Wow, and they're just gonna give it. So so wait, how much do you get? You get three hundred gold for killing it. Yep. Right? And then you get a guarantee of three hundred and twenty gold from two plates. Or no, that's that's it's a hundred and it's two hundred and eighty. But what? how much is two plates? It's it's three twenty. I'm trolling. My brain, is, my brain is lagging super hard right now. Uh, I just woke up, dude. Good morning. Oh, dude, <laughs> that base was. That beer we did last night was insane. <laughs> Whew. Man, I'm still coughing it up. Um, so 620 gold for killing Harold. It's, it's really just the most broken shit. Yeah. Realistically, though, 620 gold is like a very conservative estimate. Usually, Harold gets you first turret, which gives you like a few hundred gold on top of that. So it's yeah. Like a, average expected value should be something like a thousand gold for killing Harold. You you really have to get a lot of enemy teams going for it, and you're not fighting. Yeah, I feel like a lot of games are just won or lost on who gets Harold because wh whoever gets the gold just goes Giga. Yeah. Oof. Just wait to do it again. My problem with first strike would be that the secondary runes are pretty fucking nerfed. Yeah, on they're pretty bad. Inspiration tree. Like you're taking turd biscuits. Fucking taking what? Cosmic? Like it's pretty whatever on Lucian. Don't actually yeah. care about your flat. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> so awkward. That was a play. You know, he actually got so much gold off that whole experience, though. Holy yeah, God. yeah I mean, it, it honestly isn't that much worse than just a recall there. Like, it's yeah, it's 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 only <laughs> bad if somebody was in, in range for XP or gold and no one was. So that is a fucking dude. He's bummer. so rich. Look at him. He's like 2k up. Yep. Yeah. He scores zero he, one. He, how do you blind pick Zeri and go up 2k gold in lane? That doesn't sound right. Cause jungle diff. For sure. I mean, they dove. Jungle gap. But, but like, at the same time, should Zeri Lulu be getting push on Shiver Rakan? Yes. To that, to that point with... I mean, didn't you say starting W level 1 was bad? Yeah, yeah, I, I think they should get the push because Lulu's so OP at level 1. She's probably mm. stronger than, like, every AD carry at level 1 fighting. But I, I, I agree with you. Like, I don't think it should have been one-sided at I, all. I don't feel like it's one of the... Like, this comp, Viego, Zeri, Lulu, doesn't look like a, you know, oh, if we crash Not a wave, you're all. so fuck kind of yeah. comp. Like... They don't, they don't have a heal in their lane. I think they just played it cocky and didn't account for the fact that that would happen. Because they did know Viego was there. Like They, they weren't really caught, caught off guard by Viego showing up. Like, they easily could have, like depending on the timing of things, you know, I think bot lane should always, like if a wave's crashing and the other jungler's trying to dive, like go to Krugs, push jungler off Krugs if he's there. Because if you chunk him, like they can't do the dive. Yeah. They didn't really have the timing. If you remember, they're the getting wave a state. massive wave stacked on them. Yeah, yeah, but but like you know, if the wave's crashing while Wukong's at Krugs and he's not there for the dive, right? But yeah. if the wave hasn't crashed yet, then you're okay to leave. I don't, yeah, I don't see a world where EG can throw the game since they have super safe carries and Lulu. You're gonna have to bust through Danny's cleanse, flash, and all of Lulu's cooldowns to kill him. I don't really see a world where that's possible. I also really think that even though Wukong and Wukong and uh, Poppy are considered like the two strongest junglers, there are so many situations where I would hate to have Wukong on my team and playing versus Lulu Azir is probably one of them. You just go in, you get your half second knockup off and then you just die. Mm, yeah, right. and that's assuming Wukong's not like fed, I guess. Yeah. Doesn't kill instantly. A lot of times he does just murder you. No, he does crazy damage for sure, especially right now. Yeah. It 
is quite. I do like here. Hurricane as an item on Zeri. Like, it seems to get a ton of value. Yeah, it used to be a lot better when it would like multiply your your uh, cooldown, resetting. Yeah, but I could see it still being good. I don't think it's good. Like for example, if you have this that build and then and then the exact same moment Sivir is sitting on IE because like you will just do 70% as much damage as Zeri to carry. Mm -hmm. But game like this, it's like, you don't kill Zeri, you're gonna lose. Uh-oh. Man, it just seems so Dude, hard no, for not engaging on to him, actually team not play. Him. Wait a sec, huh? That was so weird. You... Don't use CC abilities on the fucking Sejuani, that was... Woo! Wait Dude, a minute. you... Wait, oh you got charmed? Oh my god. GG just deserves to Wait. lose this fight. Oh. Oh. That stopwatch saved the fire so fucking hard. close. What the hell? It's really close, actually. It, it, it feels feel like, like it should be lose. close, though. It, should, it feels yeah. like it should just be EG shitting on them. Oh, Danny has flash. Come on, Danny. Nah, oh. but the highlight play, man, they're unlucky. Oof. Danny's ulti got fizzled. So wait, what happened? <laughs> Did Ari go for like a charm flash or something? Yeah, I place all of his uh, choke artists right now. Uh, it's it's weird by... that he's on the side like this, fighting his ear instead of like fishing for catch with his team. So let's see. I feel like he's in, in the ev bush. In every in every way, like the early part, his trade HP on his ear is fine. But like, who's making this call where he's Ooh. gonna ult E flash on fucking Sedge? Even if that hits Sedge, I'm not really sure that no. wins him the fight. Oh my, dude! With how badly that went, where Ole Ole did a. Rakan combo on the air. Like, I'm so surprised that GG just didn't get steamrolled. It was a really close fight. Yeah. It this game looks yet. so lifeless for Golden Guardians, man. They're just like slowly losing everywhere. I mean, they scale pretty hard with Sivir, but. Yeah, they haven't really made anything happen, so. Can't really scale when they're like Does one Siver hole Does Sivir outscale Azir Zeri? Mm, Sivir can do stupid shit in teamfights with IE and uh, Lord Doms where like you just blink and Sivir got like five autos on your front line and now you're one HP. <laughs> she can do yeah. dumb shit. That's fair. She's probably one of the only AD carries in the game where like one singular auto attack can can be the same as like four autos. Because it's like 65% of the damage, but it can bounce twice. So you can do like 130% damage of an auto attack on five people. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Quite I guess well, Twitch is like that. Twitch is like that. But it's so rare where you can line them up like that. That's crazy. Ooh. Greg gets almost as flash. In a ram. In a ram. It's actually an NA ram from What's GG going for here, though? Dude, nothing. This is literally the, like, I don't know what to do call. So you just group up five-man mid, you clear the wave, and you just walk into river. This is literally, like, the, the <laughs> well, I'm fucking lost macro play. Well, I, I, I think they sacked... They sacked some side lane farm that was coming into the turret anyways. And what they got was wards on Baron. I don't know if, like, they thought EG was posturing to do Baron, but... Sometimes yeah, I mean, they, ha they have a Zir. I guess it, there is the threat there. Yeah, like, I could maybe, maybe see them, like, looking ahead and saying, like, if we don't do this before we go and catch sides, then they just have full control of Baron. They're going to do it. But, like, I don't know. It's if a scary that Baron threat. Yeah. With the Zir. He is full build Zeri now. Oh, Good no. Luck. Tank full Zeri. Build. What's Punky. the reasoning for shield bow in this build rather than Trinity like it was initially? So you can still curve into IE on your next item. Mm. I think Trinity Having would... IE with the Titanic sounds so weird, but I mean, I guess it works. Yeah, 60 crit. Woohoo. You don't go like Cleaver or something? Oh, no, no, no. I think Zeri needs crit now. Where, like, before, you could just build whatever, and all your damage was just baked into her abilities, but no, you need crit. Oh, wow. That's good trade for EG. That is the reason Take you wouldn't go Titanic. 
Just because you want crit? Well, dude, I'm lo I'm looking at River right now. It's so fucked up the way the game is. He's level 11. He's at one item. Zeri's at three and level 13. Like, dude, this has been jungle for literally oh. years. Yeah, but oh it's super my cringe. god, all the initiations whiffed. No, oh, that, that was actually pretty up. good. <laughs> How is that all whiffed? I, I mean, the fucking stopwatch. He didn't flash oh, out after. Hold up. This, it's Zeri's a Zeri show. To, Zeri's about oh to kill everyone. Oh my It's over, guys. It's over. It's fucking yeah, Zeri's, Zeri's here. Everyone. Unlucky. Ooh. Unlucky. Hope wait, you I'm had done. fun while you could. Wait, 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 oh, hold wait. up. Oh! 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 They got him! Oh, they got him! Wow! Damn. That was Wind actually Guardians a really nice Actually, they have life. I mean, River. Like, yeah. Holy moly. I thought that was a fucking easy Zeri penta. It so, didn't look like one. It, you're so saying what Mios, happened? The uh, you're saying it's jungle for the longest time, but the problem is just that it's like it's such a fucking difference between solo queue jungling and competitive jungling. You've always yeah, talked I mean, about dude, that before. Like, I, I feel like I talk about my stream like every day, but it's it's just it's I think it's the fact that like everyone can take camps too easily, so it uh -huh. just becomes not even worth the jungler farming camps past early game, right? Because it's like why divide your farm when you can just put it on like a couple people and have really strong carries, right? Yeah. And dude. I think that just makes the game worse. I think it's like everyone should have access to like their own resources and not like double dip because it just creates like whack problems where you get like way too accelerated. Yeah. And then the other people have to play around that. It's so like they don't really have a chance to also get fed because it's like one person taking everything. It's basically yeah. just like the same issue as Gold Funnel, but like, you know, not as cringe about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not a great oh. side ulti. It doesn't get any value. And now oh. Olay one shot their jungler. Inspired. One shot inspired. inspired. One oh, wow, inspired stat. Oh. There's actually. Oh. Wait. Is that Wait. enough? They can't go anymore. They can't kill oh my god. god. Yeah. It's fucking nasty. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. All right, Penta. Penta, Penta, Penta. It's an actual Penta. Wow, Azari Penta. We're all so oh. super resonance. What? No way you don't go for that. There's nobody no way cares. You don't go this is Zeri Penta. Literally nobody cares. Yeah, but like it's every fucking game. Dude, <laughs> it doesn't matter. You just go for it. Like who nah, cares about uh, winning the game? It's just, dude. You it's know the champion's dumb when you're too bored to go for a Penta on her. He literally <laughs> doesn't care. There was a there was a 24 hour period where like the Turkish league and I think it was like LCS and LCK all had a Zeri yep. Penta in 24 hours. Like I thought that was so funny. <laughs> yeah. She is the one of the most game-breaking champs that Riot has made, and they they made a lot. And it's funny because she goes together with one of the other cancer champs, which is Yumi. <laughs> I, just... I, I don't like Riot's recent philosophy on like uncapped duration on abilities, like with the Swain alt change and like the Zeri alt and whatnot, like Olaf alt. Yeah. I feel like that just leads to things being even more snowbally than normal, right? Like, That's a good I think point. if they just gave Zeri's alt like less of a cooldown and. A cap duration that wasn't like permanent it should be way that more was... balanceable oh that, that's actually a really really good point like i think like if you compare zeri to twitch right they're both ridiculously strong with ulti up but one of them has to be really careful about when and how they use the ulti twitch ulti lasts five seconds zeri's as long as you're a team fighting it will stay on and Dude, can... isn't it six now i feel like I, I hope Riot's not listening right now because you know next patch they're like, oh, it's a f fucking Twitch alt gets extended on oh kills. Oh my god! On no. like, yeah. You're right. They're like, oh, damn, that is yeah. a problem with Twitch. That's a great point, man. Yo, yo, he went Cleaver. He didn't go IE. Yep. Oh, that's fuck. He just he he saw like he man. I would have got that pent if I was like a little tankier. Maybe. Uh... <laughs> He loves the tanky. I feel like Golden Guardians just has so many options here up against this full tank hyper carry. Mm. I mean, I was going to point out that Sivir is just as stupid of a champ. And in LCK, I think people prefer playing the Sivir side because uh, there's a team fight that we watched earlier at Drag. Not the one that just happened, but the one before that where Vulcan is 30%. And that's just from being 500 range close to the you know, nearest teammate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just random collateral damage that ends up amounting to like a thousand on every player. And I, I don't even think, I think Stixa still has so much scaling to go through. He, he, once he finishes IE and Lord Doms, like, 
That's just a kill. And you, it's fucked up because I never pay attention to my, like, what's happening to me in teamfights like that. Where I, I don't notice that I'm dying. That's like... I mean, if you're not getting directly hit, then yeah. Yeah, like, I'm not getting hit. And mm -hmm. it doesn't seem very visually clear what the fuck is going on. Oh? Oh. Well, they, they died somehow. The... That was weird. They got Sedge, but that doesn't really win you the fight. Like, it yeah. literally has to be a Zer or a Zeri, and even then, it's like the other one's probably just going to clean you up, even if you do get one. Yeah, but I think GG should take that every time, just as one-for-one -one support for your top lane kill. Yeah. This is so AIDS. This is so... Oh, my... Oh, oh. my oh. God! Like, th th this isn't even cool to watch. It's like... The shit That's is kind of cool. So... <laughs> Not really. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, wait, wait let, let me ask this. Do you guys think lethal tempo is part of the problem with a lot of the carries recently? Just having that extra range? What do, do you mean think the these carries? problems still exist without lethal tempo? Um, yeah. I think lethal tempo is pretty hard to balance, yeah. Every single AD carry that is good abuses lethal tempo with, like, maybe one exception. I would say maybe lucian is the exception i'm trying to think what if lucian running lethal tempo is the sauce like what if nobody's just tried it and it's actually no it's insane worthless nope have you tried it it's garbage it, you haven't it's tried garbage. it it's garbage i've tried I, it i've no, tried it you. it's actually garbage no 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 you guys are saying because you haven't tried it but you're gonna try it and be like oh, it fuck, doesn't it's so broken. do anything what the fuck <laughs> okay okay i'll remember this yeah i will remember this I don't know, man. Sure couldn't you tell you. Speakers. Yo, I just saw who, who he took out his gum and then someday started chewing a gum. Do you think it was the same one? Uh oh. That would build a lot of synergy, and it's making me think about how Lena gets really disgusted when I eat food out of the trash. But mm. realistically, when you put food, like let's say you eat some leftovers, right? Or like you, you order some food, you, you order Grubhub, uh -huh. you think you're finished with it, you put it in the trash. And then a few hours later, you take nah, it out of the trash. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Okay, 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 listen, listen. What happened? Listen. <laughs> what have you done? It's the same shit as if you just put it on your desk and left it there. <laughs> Except for a few hours. Is your uh -huh. desk covered in fucking trash and shit? No, but the food has not. <laughs> nah. <laughs> didn't nah. touch anything. <laughs> nope. Not sure if real. Dude, Lena keeps getting pissed at me for going for dumpster dives out back. Like, people are throwing <laughs> no, away half no. burger and shit. Like, what? You're saving so much money. <laughs> Lena just actually is dying right now. Bros, bros, bros. I put it at the top of the trash, okay? It's like a drink or it's like a plate of, like a, like a bowl of food or whatever. And I, you know, it's capped. There's not like shit entering the fucking food. Uh, 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 huh. Yeah, you ever just like <laughs> grab chopsticks, start like grabbing the noodles out from the trash? Yeah. Like, it didn't touch anything. <laughs> it only touched other food. Come on. It didn't though. I'm not constantly putting random trash in the trash can. It's just sitting there at the top. And sometimes I change my mind. Have you tried stirring it somewhere that's not the trash can? Yo, that's the funniest shit I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. You totally brought that up. Like, dude, Lena's so crazy for getting pissed at this. And then we were just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Lena is just easily embarrassed right now to know me. That's so oh, funny. Oh, shit. Okay, so maybe it is fucking weird. I don't know. I just didn't think it was that weird. How many like, times have you done this? My enjoyment oh, of like, the food at like, all. Yeah, I, I actually get where you're coming from, but there's like, <laughs> it's definitely a super fried thing to say. Uh, it's a little fried now that I'm, now that I'm uh, vocalizing it to the world. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you done that? Literally my entire life. Really? Well, I don't, like, eat out of the trash every day, but, you know, I'll probably eat... 
<laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh, it's like... Yo, babe, we got anything good in the trash can? I'm, yo, I'm going to have a look. Uh, what do you think about that fried rice from last week? You want any of that? <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet in there. It's like, it's like maybe once a week, Max. You should probably yeah, just use your fridge. You know... That might work better. I think Holy people... fuck. <laughs> the fridge? No, I don't think so, man. Mm -mm. Not a good storage place? Okay. It's just not as convenient. <clears throat> True. Shit, man. This is what happens. Dumpster diving is a way of You freak out when you drink out of the toilet. Yeah, I know. She does get upset about that. I mean, dude, there is when get, she's using there's it. clean water. It's clean. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could be. Dude, I'm about to get a house, and apparently the previous owner, he un installed a filtration system where, like, the fucking real estate guy was saying that you can drink out of the toilet. Like, he actually said that. It got me excited. Why would you want to, though? Let's go. Just because you can. I don't think you should, though. Like Flex on him. Yeah, Lena messed up our toilet. <laughs> you messed up the toilet. Who messed up the toilet? Lena's blaming me for messing up the toilet. I, I don't know what she's talking about. What have Unlucky. you done? What has she done? <laughs> Food from the trash, beverage from the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would be quite the meal. <laughs> Actual damn. homeless men. <laughs> Fucking bring a girl back to your place for the first time. Be like, "Are hey, you hungry? Can I get you something to drink?" <laughs> just start sifting through the trash. You just pour it on the floor. Anything you look good. Mm -mm -mm. Like this looks pretty old fresh. Top, go to the yesterday. toilet, get some water. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Xuc also pisses in the sink and eats his toenails. No way. Nah. About the toenails. I've pissed in the sink literally once in my whole life. This apartment. <laughs> Why you piss in the sink? One time, because you're using the bathroom, and I had to go. So, so when I hear one time in my whole life, I'm thinking, uh -huh. yeah, like as a kid, we all did stupid shit, and you're like, yeah, you were using the bathroom last week. <laughs> I've lived here for three years. I pissed in the sink one time. <laughs> one time. Which yeah, sink? Dude, one time. It was an emergency. Was it the kitchen sink? Yes, but I washed it afterwards, man. <laughs> I'm not just, I'm not getting it everywhere. I barely got any of it on the faucet. Like, calm down, man. How did, how did you even get in there? Like, did you stand on the fucking, <laughs> how did you aim it into the sink? I stood on my tippy toes. You want me to have prostate problems later in life? If you hold in your pee, you actually have prostate problems later. Yeah, she's going to have to finger it to fix it. What do you guys think about this game that's going on right now? Dude, I actually gotta go pee right now, and I'm gonna use the bathroom like a real man, okay? Yeah, I'll use the bathroom this sink. For later. Use the sink. <clears throat> it's the only available hole. God damn. That was crazy. Alright, whose draft do we like? You've actually got 100 Thieves is actually Zary. like the most scaling comp. Can yeah. you have a more scaling comp? Maybe like Gnar for Orn? 9,000. Ooh. Chunky. I hate Yumi so much. The fact that Yumi can beat you in level 1 trades makes absolutely no sense. Like, AD carry versus Yumi auto attacking each other, like, Yumi wins. I hate that. <clears throat> That is pretty weird. People, people got to a point with Yumi where they realized, like, if you just play her like an AD carry at level 1, as in, like, you go E, and you use E to heal yourself and give yourself attack speed, then you you just walk up, like, like, like Lulu walking up at level 1 and just auto-attacking them to death. Yeah. Like, that's how people play her now. And, like, any trade is just going to be a shit trade for you, because, like, Yumi has two potions and doesn't care to blow them at level 1 and can heal herself. It's like stupid as fuck. Yeah, and she's never a target. Yep, exactly. You could be one HP, and it's the same as you being full HP. The all-in threat is the exact same because you never have to detach. And I, I just, I fucking hate you. Especially yep. now that people have been starting to do that. 
I mean, I, I imagine like 99% of the player base hates Yumi. The only people who don't hate her are like the people who are so bad that they can only win on it, and the people who <laughs> play with the people that are so bad they can only win on it. Like, I don't know. Do you, do you guys know how it was picked this game? Was it 1 2 from 100 Thieves? No idea. Mm. I'll check. Yeah, it was 1 2. Yumi Trundle after Sivir first pick. Yeah, it, it feels kind of bad knowing that, like, it feels like the meta is pretty solved. You see the same champs every single game now, and it's really noticeable right now, specifically. Mm -hmm. Sivir, Zeri, two enchanters, both sides, a Zir on one side, and, like, full tank top side, basically. That's that's just what it is. Fucking yeah. TL plays Skarner, Olaf. Oh, cool, I got to see Skarner and Olaf. That's different. I mean, next game it's like Sejuani Wukong. The next game it's like fucking Viego Nar. Like it's it's all the same. Um, but yeah, yeah, and and I I get Probably that. Like excited. from a pro player perspective, like you don't want a big patch before Worlds, but I think at the same time, like there's way more viewers than players when it comes to League, right? Yeah. And so like you do want to have a fun product for people to watch. Like I think the meta not being giga boring is more important than it being stable like i think if the meta is giga boring like this like you should just patch it like yeah buff the, the cool champs nerf the boring ones I, who's I the agree. cool champ i agree i don't know champs that like make things happen it, like always, most engaged champs i've always thought that like it's oh wow it's just an show me a boring game with a yasuo <laughs> oh dude Oh. oh my god, he missed the pillar. Oh my. Why did he pillar like that? Well, they didn't think he was steeping. They thought he was waiting to die. Yeah, but that, using your pillar like that gives him his only out. That's true, that's true. Zero, zero, I... all while I was taking a shit. What the fuck? What Wait, is this post? game? Yeah. Wait, you've been taking a shit this whole game? <clears throat> mm, past like eight minutes, maybe. What the hell? Damn, you're fast. Eight minutes shit? I, I, I saw some. Yeah, that's fast. <laughs> there were some posts on Reddit. Oh, yeah, it's like number two right now. It says, Zeri's got 33 pentas in seven months of being <laughs> a champion in competitive play. Yeah. Like, how fucked is that? Yeah, it's fucked. You, 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 it's funny, like, for the longest time, people were talking about, oh my god, Jinx's passive is just ridiculous. One of the best passives in the game, when she kills someone, she's like so likely to keep snowballing. Yeah. I think generally like long long range is cool, but the risk off should be like, you need to be careful with your positioning, right? But when you're like long range and you can reposition all over the place, it's kind of removes the counterplay. Oh, oh, first blood at 19, holy shit. I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh! What's that happening? Oh, oh, shit! Oh, oh, he's getting severe! Oh! Johnson went nothing. crazy mode right there. What, why did he flash? I think he he just went crazy mode. Oh. Nice flash, Polly. That was nice. That's number oh. two best support of all time right there. Wait, why did Azir not flash? That was greedy as fuck, wasn't it? He was greeting it. He, he totally didn't, he didn't expect flash He didn't know after was that good. <laughs> Abadaga's ult was also really bad. I think I've lately been like really hesitant to overrate European and and just like in general imported players because they come in and they're they are really really fucking strong. But I think they do hit a weird point a lot of the time with you know for example this year specifically it's like Abadaga and Hansama. I know Abadaga's been here for like a year and a half now, so it's like maybe a little different, but. In the beginning, they're like turbo smurfing. Like, I think they're really strong players, but then I think they do reach a point where like the level of practice is lower and like they start playing a lot worse. You think yeah. they just get too comfortable? I don't know. Like, I have no idea what it is, but there's. I don't want to like speculate on what their like mental state is, but I just know like one common factor is just the practice level over here is just going to be worse, right? So. Mm -hmm. Worst, worst true. opponents is just going to make you play worse. Everything else is just like adding to it. 
Holy moly, Sivir is so strong. What the fuck? <laughs> Trundle Zeri did too, zero but... damage. <laughs> yeah. Dude, look at this shit, man. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it looked dumb, but I do think, like, the flash poly was pretty good, like... Yeah, I don't think a lot of people would react I, to flash I, I, poly I don't blame flash. him for trying to greed that, right? Like, it seemed like he could get it off, but... I, I actually don't think in my entire life I have reacted to a flash poly with anything important. I've not, like, because it's not something that I would, like, actively look for the same way as, like, a cannon flashing on me. Yeah. It's yeah. actually fucking just weird. I think that was a good play by Afro. And it's so, not, yeah, it like was a... greed by Abadage, but I don't think it was like the most unreasonable. It's like a weird projectile, which is why it'd be hard. It's, yeah. It's real weird. Like you can kind of see her cast it, but. It goes, it doesn't just it go super fast. fast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lulu seems just like a stable pick. Really chill. The better your team is, the more you're value you're gonna get out of the champ too because they're gonna know when to go in Test. wait were you guys saying about essence reavers area <laughs> well that's what i thought it was and then i realized they have so much armor it's oh he it's had uh he had like two long swords. shield bow phantom dancer and two long swords and we were wondering what he's building yeah. oh <laughs> i see third item essence would be so fucking bad <laughs> yeah that's what we were saying uh. What the fuck is Johnson buying? You're really not gonna go Lord Dom's this game? You're gonna buy a BF sword? You're gonna buy GA? That's Could be BT. as hell, bro. Yeah, but like... BT, I GA, I. It's only BF sword items. Actually, no, Storm Razor too. Yeah. I, I I think Lord Dom's is too strong not to get, but... Ooh. You do you. Ooh. Yo, kite out FBI's ulti. Don't Silver just bouncy? keep going forward. Wow, he is fast. That's without Ghost, he can just walk away from Zeri. And that's exactly how you need to play against Zeri. Like, now her ulti is fizzled, she's fucking weak in a team fight. You should go now, nice! Oh. Very nice. Uh, how what does Abadage keep being in the front like oh this? Oh my Abadage god. Is, is really is he playing, playing poorly. Nah. Oh, very nice. They snowball very, very nice. He has ult. He, by the way, that's Sivir with ulti and ghost extension. It's it lasts seven seconds per takedown. Yeah. So can last forty five seconds. Are they gonna end. Can they just win. Maybe. Mm, probably. I mean, what can hundred thieves do? They have to win a team fight. No way they can end. Oh, Philip's gonna Phillip's die. Dead. Oh, okay. they overplayed. They overplayed. Now hundred thieves can totally go for Baron off this kill. And Abadaga can look TP. Look at the wards behind. Like, like six seconds. I think he's gonna fish for something. Maybe. He TP is this the classic again. overstay after mid and hit and to throw the game angle? Yes, it is, sir. I think this is one of the most common throws that happens in all of League of Legends. Yep. It is definitely one where you should be like hyper aware of the trap and like. Just err on the side of caution. Like if it's close, probably yeah, I mean, you gonna just, be you better have to be to ready. Get... Like when the other team respawns or like recalls, whatever. Oh my god! Are you ready to stop them from baroning? This is this is Sivir Penta angle too. Whenever a team starts an objective against Sivir and they're clumped like this, it's really really fucked. He has ult as well. I think I think Johnson oh. needs to needs to go crazy mode, but somebody needs to. Oh, never mind. Wow, Fly actually just gave that. Never mind. No one can walk up and give Sivir any space, so. I think that was actually smart by them because he has no sums. He would have probably gotten shuffled. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Philip made a good play with the Sajjal Tan Nazir, and then he made a really bad one when he like dove next to turrets, let himself die. I think he should get a stopwatch. Like, these are the kind of games where like stopwatch in fights is insanely important. Yeah, I agree. Some are close closer recognizes that he has one. Jose has GA. I mean, Johnson bought a stopwatch too. Damn, this is this is really is so reminiscent of uh, Arden Sensor meta. Oh, one hundred percent. That slow. Really, just the darkest time in league history. <laughs> <laughs>
Honestly, though, like, it's just such a, an L for the viewers. I don't know what they can do, honestly. I mean, I, I, I think I think faulting the whole durability patch is probably, like, too big of a swing at it. Because, like, I think, I think the game for sure got better with the durability patch. Like, before it was actually, like, maybe playing carries you don't notice as much because, like, you're not going into the team. But, like... As an engager, like frontline champ, like you, there was just no surviving anything. Like you just insta dead unless you have a stopwatch, and that's pretty yeah. dumb. Yeah. But I, I would, I would recommend, like, I would define the patch before the durability patch is like everyone's squishy, so the stuff that isn't viable is actually just like kind of just full tanks. Like bruisers are fine. Actually, bruisers are good. Assassins were good. Uh, most carries were pretty good. Like, now, I think you're a full carry, or you're like a full hyperscaling carry, or you're a full tank, or you're full utility, and that's the only thing that's viable. I mean, I just think, like, the Grievous nerfs and the Enchanter buffs are kind of, like, what ruined it. So I think if, if these champs weren't being played, the game would, like, actually still be really fun. I think it's usually just, like, any meta, like, before durability patch, when Enchanters are most popular, like, it's just Resident Sleeper. I see, I see. I, I I could see that. I could see that. Yeah, I think they they could they could do a lot of tweaks at the high end for sure, and not have it affect too much. I wonder what their like. I'm so curious what their internal statistics are for, like, how much people are playing the game, um, before and after the change, and like. How they measure like if someone's enjoying the game because like is it only play rate i'm sure they have other metrics that's not just how many games of league are being played yeah to measure like enjoyment <clears throat> they definitely have a lot of data to go off of whether or not they make the right conclusions from the data is another thing it seems kind of hard to yeah you got some yeah. surveys that pop up you ever take those, those are so the useless yeah I don't, a <laughs> survey is probably it, it'll like those. if you ever have like a 15 minute game where your team stomped it's like did you feel like you communicated well with your team this game and it's just like obviously but then like you never have that after the game where you just got fucking griefed for 45 minutes straight yeah <laughs> it's like did you like that top laner following you around trying to last hit all your camps for the whole game was that a good time <laughs> well it got news for you not banning him ever so you're gonna have a lot more of that in the future yeah hope you can name change <laughs> Watch out for I, target enters. I just realized like yesterday that I was kind of a part of the problem because I had a I had a top laner who very clearly just like was just ran it down and was checked out of the game. Like we were we were pinging for him and asking him in chat if he if he could like group. Not even aggressively, just like yo, he's playing Zach top and we just want him to group so we could 5v5 and he would just intentionally not group and like run it down side lane, like actively just trying to die. Mm -hmm. And he's playing Zach top, so there's no way he actually thinks that split pushing is good. And I like my chat's asking why I don't ban him, at, like, why I don't report him afterwards. And it's like, what am I reporting him for? Like, nothing that he does is punishable based on precedent. I mean, uh, reports also just don't do shit. Like, Riot's made it pretty yeah. clear they actually don't give one fuck about player behavior unless you say a racial slur. <gasps> yeah, I, I remember, like, at a certain point, I, I think I had Cat evolved on my team, and he was like saying some really dumb shit. Like he's gonna find his, he's gonna find him and show up at his house. I, I told him like, dude, Cat evolved is probably gonna get punished for this game, but not the Zach who's like, literally trying to lose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They do have some weird Plus. auto flagging systems. Oh. oh. Oh my god. QSS and Mikhail's down. That's actually value as fuck. He still has his cleanse though. It's all good, guys. It's all <laughs> good. They got a few more to get he's through. He's got it all. Yo, Jose's not going to make it in time to smite. Oh, he is. He is. Oh. Oh. oh nice play down. by Tukui, man. Okay. Whoa. Johnson and is actually the just fucked with them. Yeah, he's got Johnson crazy is attack speed. Look how fast everyone goes. By the gods. Whoa, sick quadra, bro. That was impressive. Three. Actually, 
I've started to like watch a lot of competitive games worldwide, and I I think that people at the highest level, like LPL and LCK, prefer Sivir versus Zeri. Mm. Obviously, it all comes down to execution and player and like who's ahead, but this is definitely well, one I... of those games where I'm like, shouldn't 100 Thieves have outscaled by that point, but... Nope. Yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of times when there's like meta picks, it can come down to like the, um, you know, laning phase, right? Like whoever pressures the other one in lane. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But in, in that in that sense, I think Sivir lost lane this game. Yeah, maybe not always the case. I am going to take my dog out real quick between games because she's going crazy, but I'll be back. No problem. No okay. Problem. I think that fell into like the Sivir Giga Carry category. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Flash Ghost and just Flash Ghost and just go zero 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 ten CS per minute for twenty five minutes. That's eighty carry right now. I feel like. Yo, can somebody just ban Yumi, please? No, we can surely, it. surely Renekton's not a bigger threat than Yumi. I think LCS is just fucked sometimes. In Instinct is like one of the 80 carries where I play against and it's like Fatorix level. Like he's like free win. Like I'm making fun of him the whole game. It's unbelievable. I, I hope he gets better over time. What, but like, what, what about his play makes that? He just doesn't really get the meta. He plays really bad in lane. His team fighting is like super sus. And I think like the first day that he played, I, I was like pointing this out. Like he, he had a Zeri Pentakill on his first game. It's like, whoa, a Zeri Pentakill. Like a Zeri Pentakill is about as impressive as like fucking remembering to breathe during a team fight. Like it, it, mm -hmm. it is just going to happen. Like you said, the fucking top post on Reddit is like 33 Pentas or some shit. Yeah. It is useless. Um, I think in LCS right now, AD carry is pretty competitive of a spot. A lot of the AD carries are really good at laning. They're really good mechanically. If you're not comfortable, then you're probably going to get steamrolled. Even last game, Johnson just fucking carried against FBI. I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking, actually. Does Luger play Draven? What's not this game is banned. True. Instinct pulling out the Jinx. Doublelift's own signature champion to shut his ass up for good. Not my favorite, but you know, maybe. Wait, what support can you play with Jinx here? Lulu's banned. Thresh. Uh. If Dude, they when play was the Tom last Kench, time Thresh was played. If they, oh my god, if they pick Tom Kench, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go nuts. I'm actually gonna fucking scream. That's so what? dog shit against Yumi. Is it? Why? Just Tom Kench is just this useless meatball against Yumi, who's like turbo scaling. Hmm. I think it sucks. But because of Camille, it's like, whoa, Tom Kench value is through the roof right now. But it's really they're not, not picking Zareth. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh, Bard, Bard. Do it, do it, do it. Is Neela in? Uh, I got shit stomped by Neela Tarek in games but i don't think neela is a good champ neela you play her much yeah i quickly realized that if the enemy team is humans then she's not good <laughs> i but think she might be neela like a big counter i guess a team that's like full autos like some sort of 80 mid shit so I think the more ranged and kiting and disengaged that the enemy team has, she becomes worse because her uptime on doing damage is really low. But like, if they're already going to be diving you and you want to pick like an, a tanky AD carry that's like hard to one shot, then she becomes really good. Yeah. I, I was surprised how long her E cooldown is when I played her. But when you like... first skill it and you have two charges, it's so OP in lane. Yeah, but like, isn't it like 30 second cooldown per charge or something crazy? I no. guess I didn't want her to have like more than two charges in a fight. It's not 30. 26. Like, yeah. It scales down because you max it second. Yeah, dude. It's not 30. It's just 
Four seconds slower oh, than 30. Oh, my bad. Don't mess. Yeah, wasn't even close to 30. <laughs> what are you, fucking level 7, bro? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you level 7 the whole game? You max this shit second. <laughs> uh, what does it go down uh, to? I'm not looking at it right now. Like 18. I want to say I? like 12 or something if I had to just guess from memory of looking at the wiki five seconds ago. Oh, wow. You're smart. It's low as fuck. You fuck. Do you guys like Acai yeah. Bowls oh, or are you just... more? Huh? Do you guys like Acai Bowls or smoothies more? Acai is digging your oh. butt. Oh! 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 It's God. too easy, man. It's too easy. Damn. Oh my god, you got me again, man. You're so... Dude, another one. There's no way. He just can't keep getting away with it. Have you guys watched Players yet? Like, no. finished it? No, have you? No, not yet. I was going to wait for the whole thing to come out. Is it not? I think, like, strangely, it's like... I think it little... is out, but I still haven't watched it. It feels harder to enjoy because, like... We're those nerd ass guys that have like actually lived it, and so it feels like, man, they, you know, the. I I don't know how to explain it. Like it, it feels like too exaggerated or something. But to someone else, like, they know that it's exaggerated, but it, it's easy to enjoy because they're. I don't know. I heard they yeah, cream cheese off I, of. I get what uh, you're saying. Off of double lift. No, they did not. Absolutely not. <laughs> They're all true I thought it stories. Was fine. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't for me, but I think it's cool that it exists. I, I, I will watch it at some point. Yeah. I don't understand this W shit. Which lane are you all. watching? Where are your eyeballs? Oh, I was watching bot lane where Luger goes W level one and I'm I'm just thinking like Okay, so you did hundred damage to eighty carry, but like you just can't walk up anymore. Like they hit two, you're level one, you just cannot walk up. You I couldn't mean, really fight anyway, though. There. What's up? I said, did you see what Dokla did? He, he eat off of Orn's Q. Oh, that's cool. It's a counter. I, I actually respect that Solo is willing to play Orn, and just LCS. blind it. Yeah. Yeah. He, he knows his place in the world. He goes arp arp for the AD carry. That's it's a good strategy. I have way more respect for the player who's like, yeah, I'm just gonna like. Ooh, he's dead. Why flash? Like, why flash? You're just. All you're doing is allowing yourself to die to the next gank. There is literally oh, for no instinct. point in any world, and yeah. I don't even I don't even know if if contracts had to flash there, but like whatever. <laughs> also, that's how that's um one thing that is nice about Ghost is like exactly that what I, what we just saw where like. Run him awkward down. To use heal. What'd you mm -hmm. say? I said run him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really nice to get ganked for when you have Ghost and it gives you W value because, like, your jeweler knows that you're going to fucking carry late game. So it's a good investment of his time. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. So he initially he's like hiding from the ward, but there is no ward because TSM's bot lane for some reason doesn't expect a three minute gank. That's five. Damn, that was so unexpected. Way. Way doing, uh, thanks for your time. time. I mean, th they knew he started bot side, so it could have been like they were working with false information because they had a word on Raptor, right? So they saw him go Raptor red, or red Raptor. And then contracts probably, if he was doing it right, like made it look like he was going top side from there. Yeah, that's true. So like it's, it's unlucky, but I don't know, happens. Well, actually, I, I, I feel like if Instinct went Ghost, he would have been all right. Not even joking. Um, I don't really understand why he needs heal this game against Yumi, but whatever. Um, oh. Whoa! Banger. It's a bang it's a turbo banger. Oh! I thought I thought Solo was going to flash out of that bitch. That would even come close to killing. <laughs> it wouldn't? Nah. Oh. Solo blind pick Orn and winning lane. That that's actually chat energy. Like blind picking yeah. something that is known to have counters and just being like, yeah, like I bet you can't play your counter well. Like I'll just outplay you and be more useful. Or Orn's Let's just broken. Go. Orn is no slouch in lane. He's so similar to Azir in that like he's like not. He actually... just stabs you with his soldiers. 
Yeah. No, it's just like mm. these super scalers that are not bad in lane. Mm. I guess like Victor's another good example where it's like every mid laner I talk to is like, no, Victor's like actually good in lane and super scaling. His problem is like he just sucks at actual all in fighting. Oh my god, he's dead as Damn. hell. That really sucks, man. Oh. It would have been pretty nice to have Flash there. Oh. But all good. I guess I'll just lose 20 CS. Maple will get it. No worries. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty doomed, isn't it? Like, if, if you're Jinx here, is it just FF time or what? Yeah. If I was him, I would have not in any... Yeah, I would have just went Ghost. Probably worded for the gank as well. And if I did... If I was going to die to a dumbass gank... Oh my god. I would not flash while 100% dead. Speak is getting it put up his butt. He is right now. Damn, Dokla is down 20 CS, in, not just from that, but compounding and like. Yeah, I mean, he, he made went a really first good play. strike. That that was good to push Speak out like that. Yeah, he made a really good play. That's incredibly frustrating. Cause like, Poppy died. She didn't just go bot and dive. Like, she killed herself to put Jinx behind, and and contracts would be really behind, but. <laughs> Good save by the boys to cover. Mm -hmm. Oh, lane gang top. Dokla has flash. Does this kill? Oh, oh wow. Wait, what? That, that was so what poorly played by Spika. That, that was, was a so good timing. Poor. Wow. <laughs> what do you think you should have done? Like, he shouldn't flash E melee range. I hope they replay it. Isn't he just? Yeah, I, I feel like he he has he has like kind of all the time in the world to to do the the knock up. I, I guess I guess what I Camille has flash. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess Camille would just. Flash. I, I think it was you're just right. a really good E by Dokla there. Okay, okay. I actually, yeah, you're <laughs> right. Maybe there's no way for him to kill because the damage just won't one shot. Huh. I thought the way Speaker played it was pretty normal. Flash. Well, I, I, ER. from from what I saw, and I, I want them to replay it so I can see, but like he just kind of wasted flash. Like he was in E range and he just mm. flash E'd already. Yeah, flash. I mean, if that was the case, that's pretty troll. I thought it was a little far, but could see it. I think a lot of people, me included, think that Poppy's the best jungler in the game just simply because like this whole day we've been talking about how hyper carries are taking all the farm jungles down three levels. Like that's, this is like one of the few junglers that is so useful with really limited income and XP. And can have a very big early game impact. Yeah, yeah. Amazing setup, great team fighting. And like, if you just get one team fight where you knock a carry out, then oh, you yeah. cannot lose the fight. I think when I'm in this situation for, for CLG, it's winning, but it's not winning enough where you can force something. And like the real answer here is to just reset and do it again. Like they're not always going to be here to counter you, but like when you force it, you don't get that much. I guess we'll Ooh. see, right? Like maybe they do get a lot. Uh, well, they just get, they, they kind of just get the minimum amount here where it's just two plates and it's split between three people. So not yeah, they got Wukong good. to show and yeah, Azir gave LeBlanc some breathing room, so like they got small things, but not a whole lot. Yeah, I think like a really good play that uh, I've seen is the jungler goes down, and then when it feels like oh we're not gonna get that much, you just use the herald recall and you do it again. You you clear your camps top to bottom, and like you just on that next time is Speaky gonna be there to to counter, and maybe like. On that next time, you'll just get lucky where your lane will have like a crazy advantage in X, like in HP. Like they'll have chunked instinct to one HP or some shit. So mm. could be could have been a good play for them. Oh, clap his cheeks! Battle to the death. Top lane so oh, look, tight. So, so, yo, look, someone's here. pinging on the wave. Solo's pinging his own wave, and he says, yo, come, Nine come dive taken. on this wave. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, look, he, oh. look he's oh, legit getting his lane. Like, yo, come dive, come dive, come dive. Wait, what Dude. the fuck? 
Doko is just getting absolutely poked out of his lane by Jinx. We'll chime Diver his sins. What the fuck? Nope. Reaction time mod Gee, check? Solo is legit getting impatient. He's like, this guy's so fucking free. Yo, come on guys, play the fucking game. Spam pings. <laughs> Dude, like, the, in, in my opinion though, in this situation, it's like, yeah, he's right that it is free, but like, you have to actually consider, like, does your team have the resources to make this happen? And if they don't, then, you know, you yourself can be a resource. It's like, okay, like, I have insane pressure up here. Like, I'll, I can go do something. Yeah. Like, I can go, I can go mid or some shit like that. Yeah, I think TSM should look for a top play. Like, that is their biggest area of pressure. It just comes down to, like, you know, can their bottom lane not just lose absolutely everything if Wukong shows up there? Which, honestly, in this game state and the way it's been for a while, it's, like, not not really. Uh, yeah. I think you pull the trigger at a certain point, though, because you kind of assume that your bot lane is going to lose that turret eventually. And so, if you, if you going topside speeds that along, but... It was inevitable that you like take that loss no matter what then it's just about picking the time it's funny because like i was really aware of that but reverse it's like if my top laner is losing i i like know that we should just go bot at the right time where our top gets turbo fucked but like we have Ooh. a win condition oh 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 i guess they're dead. getting turbo fucked i i guess uh tsm is just the the best <laughs> But yeah, yeah. Then, then when it's like reverse and I'm getting fucked, it's like, dude, this blows, guys. Come help me. <laughs> help me. Help me stop the bleeding. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I get why people like call things the way they do, right? Like, it feels bad to get shit on. And people are like, oh, you know, like, if there's resources available, like, I can get out of this mess. But you got to consider, like, whether people are actually available to help you, like, whether it's going to help the game in general or, like, yeah, well, that shit. I think bot lane in general, like, you know, you are the hardest scaling role in the game, so it's usually not wrong to be like, yo, like, I need some bailout. Yeah. Yeah. On top of the fact that it's two people, right? Like, enabling your support to play is really good. True. Yeah, it always just depends on the relative strength of the roles and the objectives and stuff. I think for a super, super long time, um,. I don't even remember if Harold was in the game or like what it did. Harold did some like really dumb shit. Like it empowered the minions. It like gave yeah, you a Yeah, it, it was a 20 minute buff on one person. Oh yeah. yeah. It, was, it was like, I don't really remember it being played around that much. It was just like, oh nice, we got Harold. But like, it was not the most useful. Dragon stacking was kind of OP. So <sighs> now it feels like top lane is so influential because top and mid and jungle like kind of unlock Harold. Which I, I'm surprised at the gold lead, to be honest. Yeah, I thought I that Silty would be really ahead. Yeah, I think what TSM could have done probably is like take advantage of the fact that Yumi can't roam and just like send Rakan around with like Moby Boots or something and just like try to snowball through top like get Wukong really fed. But yeah, I mean, that's easier said than done. Yeah. Surprised that instinct has been hanging on as much as like the gold, the gold or CS difference on AD carries has not changed. Oh my god! Close. Oh my god! Oh my god! Bye bye. He, CLG is wow. really Holy moly. having some bad fights. This is kind of what you were talking about beforehand with contracts taking like unnecessary risks or like uncalculated risks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it you does only... feel like this game, with how the early game went bot lane, like that should be almost like a fucking GG, right? Like, yeah, I don't. It's not even just him too. I think Palafox did a really stupid play at enemy Raptors that got him killed, and that has a pretty big snowball effect. And Dokla is playing so poorly, like he is. D oh. Dokla is actually like kind of handing <laughs> over a win he's, this he's, game. He's a liability. Like he got counter pick. It's blind pick Orn and. You can play so many things. Yeah. You can play so many, I mean, not so many different ways. Soul is a good laner, but. Yeah. Dude, this is where you have to have like the most awkward conversation in your life after the game. You're like, so is, is Orn just broken? Like they can just blind big Orn and he hard wins lane. <laughs> it is a pretty yeah. hard win. 
it's so fucking I, it's hard. been literally a stomp i'm pretty sure if doklo went grasp he would have been fine and so i think his rune choice is really biting him in the ass but yeah. i mean he he is actually like just giving tsm a way back into the game oh so uh -oh. nice so uh -oh. nice by by trying to do that oh yeah my the God. r and then flash on top of him hard to react to that you have to like guess with the spell shield yeah I'd be so fucking triggered if I was Luger. Their ADK shouldn't be able to breathe or play, but it's like yep. too many stupid mistakes by everyone else. Stupid fucking mistakes, man. I know. All I know is ADC is weak. And four. It's so, dude. ADK is so weak that it's just the the only role that is worth playing around and the only win condition. Like, yeah, dude. How, how how does how do you manage to pull it off? Azir definitely doesn't just face roll every game, unless you're oh, Abadaga getting hit by Sedgold. The only mage who can compete against eighty carries. Nice. The only mage, eh? Yeah. I, I guess ADC is not statistically weak. It is like mathematically weak. No, 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 no. Like the the decisions that you make just don't matter. They're so they're so brain dead now. Like I feel like before not not even that far away. Oh. Oh. KC knock up nice. Very oh. well played. Owned. Owned. Remake you had that. More decisions bitch. to make. The, the the only like you like here it's so flow charty. You just do the same shit as everyone else. Like being it doesn't encourage like being creative or yeah, you just right click and then you right click and then you right click yeah it, it really but like dude you played Zary and Sivir <laughs> do you actually think that you're playing the fucking champ or is the champ just so formulaic that it's a position it, machine yeah it, it doesn't feel like you're really contributing that much at a, after a certain point you're like obviously you're good like you're gonna see opportunities to do stuff but for the most part, you're doing the same shit every game. It, that's always been easy carry, though. <laughs> well, no, I, there, there's I, some I, skill I think shots. that like, when, when Kai'Sa and Taya good. and Ezreal are meta, there's like a really big difference between someone who's like good and like gonna fucking one v five you with those champs. Yeah. Um, Zaya really? I, I feel like Zaya's like Giga fucking just sneaky the same nose. Shit. When the Zaya is really good, you're fucked. Zaya is it's, fucking hard to play. It's hard, dude. Is she? Yeah. Yes. Like, sure. Like the maybe the floor, right? If you want to play a really passive, um, safe, max range Zaya is it, not that difficult. But at the high end, like there is a huge difference, a huge, huge difference. But I think with nameplates off, you could like pick any like somewhat decent pro players and watch them play Zer Zarya and Sivir, and it feels the same. I would mm. agree with that. I would also just group Zaya with them too. I see. Nah. I, see. I mean, it, it's her ult, right? Like, Zaya's ult makes it so it's like, kind of get out of jail free card. Like, you don't really have, you can afford people to like be on you, and you just fucking one tap them. I feel like the first thing you learn with Zaya is like you can ult defensively on like a bunch of random shit, like, like Camille's ulti. Um, you can like wait for the support to be committed like you can let leona e on you and then you ulti as opposed to like like you, you learn all the defensive bullshit um mm -hmm. with her ulti and then the next level is like using it aggressively which is kind of hard but like you can create kill opportunities where you just like walk up to their ad carry and immune their auto while also like trapping them with your feathers so you either root them or you kill them there it's like there's like so much like random skill involved in playing zaya and like Shitting on your opponent, but I I feel like with these champs, like a maybe not even Azir actually does seem to get a lot of solo kills. So maybe I don't hate Azir, but the eighty carries right now, it's like you only get solo killed or two v two if you're actually awful. Otherwise, yeah. you you're just playing a very 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 standard and formulaic matchup that will always go the same way. Yeah, I mean I, I can agree with what you're saying. Maybe like. You guys are referring to laning phase stuff more as well. When I'm mostly when I see Zaya, it's either like trying to dive her, which is fucking impossible, or like team fights. Oh yeah. 
Not much of a difference there. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That's a dozen for me. The LG is kind of taking it in the ass. Contracts, um... Up the butt? Has been doing some very, um, sussy stuff. This is kind very, of very sussy, sussy as well. He's just gonna TP back in, man. Honestly, I would have liked to see Dokla just go crazy mode there, because... Yeah, I, I, I... I'm a little surprised why they didn't commit there. Like, that seemed like it was definitely Here a kill. Here we go. Dokla oh. goes into Jinx Traps and dies immediately. Uh... Or it's a jungler. What were they thinking? This is not Dokla's finest game. El Contracto <laughs> has been running it somehow even harder, though. Dokla got fisted in lane. Contrax has been dying perma at really bad times. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Looks like I will not be eating a shoe. Fingers crossed. Top three finish or what? Top three, get, top three. They get one of those higher than Team Liquid. Get one of those cakes that looks like a shoe. That's what I was that. gonna do. That's what I was oh, gonna do. I was gonna nice. show up with a shoe cake. Can I have a shoe cake? Yes. You know, I see people talking about him going 0 5. It's not really as much his score as it is how he's dying. Like if he dies for understandable reasons and in understandable ways, like and fine. he said. And but, he is gone. Like, like there he traded his life for Spica, and I think that's fine. Oh wow, they really get the Sivir flash like that? Yeah, that's a bummer. Is that his ear just being too broken? 15. Uh maybe. Actually, maybe contracts dying there is not fucking good in whatsoever since Both jungle are down for Soul. Yeah. They also got a fat shutdown from Spica. Yeah, it was a big one for Sivir. I saw 800. Oh god, look at his items. Dude, Sivir just needs one lucky fight. I mean, where TSM has the win con now of like, Sivir can go Oom um because he doesn't have the biscuits. Oh, So he's really going to be shit, careful with his dude. mana here. <sighs> that is an ankle, runner dry. Make her cue you. I feel like CLG hitting this first it, dragon just first is... It. No, Sivir just does a stupid. lot just of damage. Stupid. Just get stupid. Okay. With uh, I don't Holy need it. Fuck. Instinct is literally the next double lift. He is so insanely Ooh. good. Actually, he's the next Danny. Dude, House of the Dragon on August 21st. Dragon Soul. Can somebody soul. send me a Google invite link? I learned that CEOs use that a lot. Google invite calendar Are links. you a CEO? Well, no, but oh, yeah, I am actually. I'm, I'm, I actually own a company called Double Lift Enterprises Incorporated. Um, Dude. That's hot. I'm pretty high up on the ladder. CEO, man, you're crazy. They also know and call me the Minister of 80 Carries, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty important. Mr. President. Wait, surely Contrax doesn't die going for fucking wolves. Almost. Um, surely that wasn't even close, man. True. Yo, Luger, pop off, man. Pop off, man. Pop off, King. Pop off. Yes! Oh, oh this is Luger show. Luger show. Go. Yo. TSM's going quite deep. Any bouncy houses? Uh, there is no bouncing whatsoever. Can, can he not hit minions? Bounce, bounce mod everyone, check? What? I, I, I don't know what he's doing. It is cast. He doesn't have flash, but I guess Luger, he's Luger was playing a, a, a lot better something. last split. I was like, how come Sivers never go rapid fire? I've noticed that. Isn't getting that first bounce pretty nuts? It feels bad to uh, hold on, hold that thought. This is oh, Whoa! this is Penta, Sivir, Penta, Sivir, Penta. Oh, no. Pause. They're all dead though. Wait, they're, yeah, they're actually all, all dying, dude. Oh, this champ is so broken. Everyone Poppy pumped up right that? next to a giant Yo. minion wave. On God, Poppy just took the orange shut down. I mean, I guess Fuck Sivir's it. gonna be full build soon, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. That could be a game throw angle. That was quite the L they just took. Yeah? Yeah, it's... 
I mean, they, they have mountains, so I think they're gonna be fine. Unless they mess up the, the elder fight. Yeah, it's... How did Jinx die? I'm pretty sure it was Bounces and Dokla. Flash, nice. And then ulti. Oh, he stopwatched. But he's, he's just dead to both solos. Oof. He stopwatched nothing. Like, he was actually... That like, kind of hurt him rather than helped him. Yeah, he did stopwatch nothing. I think that's like one of those panics where like Dokla's holding his ult and it's like you don't trust your reaction time so you like press stopwatch when you think he's gonna ult like off muscle memory because that happens to you so much like E flash ulti but mm -hmm. Yeah nope, I mean he, he you got, got a reaction by sir. LeBlanc pretty hard too mm -hmm. I don't know though dude full build Sivir Yumi Not the easiest shit to beat they just needed one good timing with a Zir or a Rakan to kill him. Any CC Dude. that hits Sivir is just GG in immediately. True. Is there a better champion than Sivir for clearing triple in hip nope. down? Nope. Like, is this even enough to end the game when Sivir can just... Is Ricochet still unlimited bounces? Yes. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It can occur No, it's times. like six or something. Oh. Eight. eight. Yeah, some some number, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they're not. Nope, they can't defend. They cannot defend. No shot. Oh! Oh my god, he's Wait. fucking dead! Pause. Yeah, it's over. I it's think it's over. This could be over. Oh, Very them well ending could be. actually saved Luger there. Wow, TSM's so scared. They're just, they won't even fight players. They just go for... Poor defenseless nexuses. Well, yo, why does he have nexus have no armor? Isn't it kind of weird that it's actually a piece of paper? That's a lot of health. It dies instantly to anybody looking at it. That's true, huh? I also feel like nexus could be served well with backdoor. Does it have backdoor protection? That's like when no. I say that, I'm like not sure. It doesn't. No, it right? doesn't. It so doesn't. like when you have open nexus, it's so fucked because somebody yep. can end the game in legit three seconds. Um, I don't know if I what the rippling effects would be of doing that though, because maybe games would just last longer then. Who knows? Uh, I wouldn't mind if they put backdoor protection on nexus. I feel like right now it's like actually open nexus is just BG. Like the game is over. Oh, my chat says Wild Rift has it. Well, oh. Wild Rift also doesn't... Like, don't they not have Nexus turrets or something? Like, the yeah, Nexus, the Nexus, is, a the Nexus turret. is a turret, right? Dude, I'm getting hungry and I want to eat something naughty. I'm hungry. Uh, I ordered boba, but I'm, I'm thinking about getting some, some dirty, dirty stuff. But I'm not sure what. <sighs> I'm thinking about getting some tendies right now. I'd make a trash can Ooh. joke, but it's just too goddamn easy. Stop it, dude. <laughs> I know. You I can't am. go for the easy play every single time. That's what I'm saying. You need to, you need to give me a break. <laughs> Wait, That's Dravy? That's a dozen for me. Holy fuck. Oh my. Yes, dude. I, I fucking woke up. Last game of the day. It's time. There's for action. Something's going to happen. Just a crumb of dopamine. Just a little bit of serotonin, yeah, just sir. One being made. Yo. Just one we play. I mm -hmm. am so fucking excited to see Lost, the most passive player in the LCS, playing Draven. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh, they better run it on level one. If Sivir goes W, level 1 in this matchup, I'm going to lose all hope in humanity. Yeah. Draven starts Q, loads up one axe, waits for the goal in the next, and then he runs at Sivir. I actually think a real strat here is to just level 2 gank bot lane with Poppy. Dude, like, just actually, get the ball going. That makes me think, why isn't it so that, you know how, like, if you run out of your axes, you lose both? Why yeah. wouldn't it just tick down? Like... The duration yeah, runs out you lose one, one X. Yeah. That would actually be such a good change. Like when you when you lose the buff of the two axes, you lose them both, but you don't lose one. Like 
incrementally the same way that Jinx loses her her minigun stacks like incrementally oh. every time. Yeah, it'd be like if Callista Ren worked the same way, where like you have twelve stacks in someone and as it runs out of duration it like slowly ticks down the amount of spears in them. Or maybe not slowly, yeah. but ticks it down. That'd just be unrealistic though. Like how are you gonna drop one axe and not drop both? <laughs> oh That's yeah. That's true. A game of realism, he's right. This game is pretty realistic. Yeah. Like rock lady throwing rocks, boomerangs, massive axes. Finally, a Noah's Ear game. Can you believe it? Yeah. Oh my god. Extremely oh. common. He lost the axe. W on that axe. Yikes. Wait, I, I'm, I'm so confused. Like, you were doing that Rust Rival thing, right? Yeah. Did that oh, just you're in that? require you to be up at all hours or what? Uh, 10 to 2. 10, 10 a.m. to 2 a.m.? No, 10 a.m., 2 p.m. Is that still going or is it over? It ends tomorrow. So like, what's, how, how what's it even the... Work? It was four teams of 40 and they eliminated two different teams so far. It was... Did you, you, in the did you take part in the elimination of a team? Uh, yeah. I mean, it like, the first one was just based on, uh... Well, okay. That's Actually, you, you can kill someone. Like, I don't know if you guys know how Rust works, but like, you can kill their TC and you'd win, but... Basically, it was like adding the kill count the whole time and whoever had the lowest kills getting eliminated. And no base raids have actually like eliminated a TC yet. Just been kill count eliminations. What but, is TC town, town center or what? Uh, it's like the fucking something cupboard. Uh, just it's just like the hub. Like you could have building access rights. Oh, okay. So like what? How many hours a day have you been playing it? And like, do you get to interact with XQC and like? Uh, playing like five, five hours or something. I like I only PVP because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing else. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> I just grab guns and walk out. <laughs> Is it like if you die, you're out for good, or can you respawn? Yeah, fucking perma respawn. Put beds on no. the the beach. Run back in naked. The rock. But each each kill still count, like even if you're getting farmed, 10 kill, 10 deaths, like if you each kill. don't loot anything and you just rock torch, you don't count as a kill. I see. Oh, you can just run in with rock torch and just try to beat people's heads in for free points? <clears throat> yeah, you'd never kill them, but you can, oh. you could scout like that, mainly. I see. Oh shit, team fight! Oh! Whoa! Oh. Hooking in instant die, okay. That looks fun for him. Yeah. <laughs> if he's actually just insta killed everyone still full. <laughs> the only thing that happened. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Nautilus is I... kind of busted, huh? Yeah, Nautilus is pretty broken. Um I'm really seeing the value in the Draven pick. <laughs> Seems quite good. How is Severe just going even? Is it support, support diff? diff? Is it player diff? Well, look, the matchup sucks. I think playing Nautilus against Sivir is fucking useless. Um, oh. They have flashes. Wow. Did he even shoot the charm? No, oh, he, he got knocked up immediately when he went melee on them with it. Yeah. But it was it was more of a tempo ulti than anything else. <laughs> ah, that's always good. Oh! Oh! Wow. I, I, I do think that the player obviously matters in this case. Lost playing Draven is like it's like me playing Draven. Like if you guys are watching me play, you'd be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Like, can't he just play literally anything else that he's good at? <laughs> and the answer is like, yeah, probably, you know, like maybe I'll just play Twitch here. You know, I played a shit ton of Twitch in my life and I'm good at it. For loss, like, I don't know, man. Yeah, just I would like Twitch. Play some dumb shit, but not this. Draven feels like a pick you 
pick against someone worse than you at AD carry, but I don't know if loss is better mechanically than Berserker. Probably not. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just it's just really about how many games you have clocked in on Draven. Um, where... Uh, I don't even really know how to fucking explain it, but, like, you know when you're, like, so good at a champ that you can play him while, like, actually making active calls in a fight? Mm -hmm. Like, you don't yeah. even have to think. You're catching your axes, and you're playing Draven mechanically perfectly, like, half oh. asleep. I can't do that. Lost, got his flash blown. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people can do that. Yeah, I, I mean, Dra know Draven if... takes really weird muscle memory, like, with his axes. Yeah, like, I... It's fucking funny, man. I, the second he walked into lane and he missed one of his first axe pickups, I was just thinking like, in Challenger that just never happens. Like I, I don't play against Draven one tricks who miss an axe pickup. It just, it just hasn't happened. Maybe in my last 25, 30 games playing against Draven, I haven't seen it once. Hmm. Unless they're first timing it. But if it's the one tricks, they just don't. Who, who's the best Draven one trick you played against? Uh, Hotezi. He plays lethal tempo Draven. That guy's AIDS to play against. There's this guy named Tai Chi who's good at Draven, but he does the worst builds and worst runes ever. Like, he plays like Conqueror Draven. Mm. Everyone chats like, oh my god, not Tyler 1. It's like, guys, like, Tyler 1 is not a challenger AD carry player. <laughs> He's actually challenger he every role, so you're master. wrong about that one. You're challenger right, you're flexor. Right. I mean, he doesn't play that much Draven anymore. He does every once in a while. Yeah. I, I think, I think like, raw mechanical skill-wise, there's, like, a few Dravens in solo queue that are actually pretty good. Are you, have you played against Hums? Not in a while, no. Does his name just Hums? I played against him seasons ago, but... Uh, yeah, his, he's playing on his Hums account, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I play at really specific times too, so maybe we just miss each other, or maybe he dropped mm. a bit. Oh, you miss him? That's cute. Oh! I miss him every day. Oh, wow. Hold up. Ignar is actually fucked. Yep. Oh, fuck. I blinked, man. I'm trying to get some Blabber here. pillared his hook, so he just hooked into the pillar and got shit on. Oh, I'm getting so hungry. Do you want to eat this? This? Yeah. What are you pointing at right now? I can't see it. Can you... I'm not pointing at anything. I'm grabbing <laughs> something, though. Uh... <laughs> oh, like a snack? Is it like a savory like bite-sized snack? Yeah, it's it's just like a tiny little snack. <laughs> oh, tiny? so like a, a little bite-sized. Yeah, yeah, a bite-sized, well, fun-sized. Like a starter. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I could I could I could be up for that. Yeah, you just know a little something a little small, tie you over. Guys, I'm gonna go crazy actually, fuck. Why? Lena, what do you think about Cassia? And you'll want some of it? Is that. Alright, here we go. Cassia, like the Heroes of the Storm character? Who the fuck is the Cassia, hell? the Heroes of the Storm character? I don't know, fucking. Valkyrie from Diablo. Oh. Cassia from Arcane, or the one who cannot wear boots? Wow. Very original, guys. Thank you, Jet. Um, no, it's a, it's a restaurant in LA. It's a wee bit banger. It's so expensive, though. Holy fuck. Let me go broke. Nice flex. I don't make any money off streaming, actually. Dude, there's this really good restaurant that you guys are probably too <laughs> poor to ever get the chance to eat. Oh, and the stacks oh are gone. It's fucking God. over. Good BG. night. All right, FF time. So, FF?
it, his flash it's not wasn't up. up. It's not it up. It came up like literally as he died. Yeah. But like in scrims, I was shitting on it. I was like legit one v five. I think in a in a scrim, I had I did like a one v five penta at Baron with Draven. And it, it was I was like I was god I was like just so fucking high off my own farts like so ready to smash LCS with my Draven like surprise it, and then I go on LCS everyone was playing like a massive pussy the pace of the game is totally different than scrims like no one's egoing on me and like sometimes occasionally I'm pretty sure this happened to me where I had a million stacks and just died and the game was over off that alone mm -hmm. yeah 406 stacks down the shitter how much gold is that? 406? 812 from the kill, you lose, what, 75%? So you lose 304? So 608 gold lost? That's not that bad. Yeah, I think it's only a couple kills. No big deal. Wow, Jensen mm. got in that ass. He did I flash over that. the wall and throw rocks at him. Oh my god. This Mr. is fucking a wee bit over. No, no, no. It's winnable. Just believe. I feel like Immortals' losses are, like, some of the most one-sided looking games. Like, I don't know. When they lose, they just really take it in the ass. What I've noticed about Revenge is that he gets tilted really easily in games that are losing, and he just feel he's one of those players that just thinks like we should just do anything before we slowly bleed out. But like the timing of his play, his like calls is just off. You know, like I think at a certain level, they like the most basic part of the game is like yeah we're losing, so at some point we have to come back, right? Like we can't just sit here and keep losing. We have to yeah. make a play, and then like. People will take that to the super troll level where they think like, well, just at, at the, cause we're losing any plays. Yeah, play. dude. Holy shit. It's like, no, like you still have to, it's a timing thing. Like you make the play when everyone has a spike or there's like a condition being met. Um, mm -hmm. not... Oh my God. That was a nice pillar. Yeah, that was, that was an insane pillar. Canceled his E and bumped his ass over the wall. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, no, not saying that this in any way is like just Revenge's fault, but like I think it shows a little bit like a, a player is like representative of their team's game knowledge. I think Immortals has no idea how to come back. Hmm. Yeah, that could if definitely they, be true. If they did know, then I, I don't think, you know, I'd be hearing that shit. Yo, Dude, we, th oh! that thing you said is actually so true about like the type of player who's like, yo, like we just need to do something. Like we can't just lose like we can't just sit around and lose it's just like holy yeah, i've heard that dude, so much you're it's right like, man let's just run it down it's almost always from like the worst player on the team too game knowledge wise like i've never heard a good player i played with make that call like oh, oh like we're not. just doing nothing and losing i'm like um who's yeah, doing I mean, nothing yeah i mean a good comeback is like obviously part mistake from the enemy but also part like good timing by you guys Oh my yeah, god, I mean, he still didn't cash in! Oh, I thought he was gonna execute with that shit, but he has no stacks. That's a tragedy. I mean, a good comeback play is like, alright, yo, like, they're gonna go for dragon, let's, like, camp our jungle and try to get a pick when they come for vision kind of thing, or, like, yeah. yo, I, I can, like, sack this wave and, like, let's make a... Like, I'll do, like, a cheater move here, like, let's fight over this kind of thing. Not just, like, yo, just, like, let's kill this guy. Just walk through all yeah, their vision, try, it, like flash on them, try to force the play, it goes bad, and be like, well, at least we tried something. I'm like, no, that was pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, like, if, if you think about I've always thought of the game as, like, look at what happens from the other team's perspective to understand if it's, like, a their feel pressure, right? It's like, no one's feeling pressured from you just throwing yourself at them and dying. Did Ignar just, like, randomly die, and I, I, I didn't... I'm like blind now. I'm just. I'm just completely passed out. <laughs> I think I've been asleep for the last 20 minutes. Same, dude. Same. <laughs> I agree. I agree with you though on on all that. I think. Um... <laughs> Nikki is just so fucking faded right now. It's crazy. Same. I just felt all my blood rush somewhere. It's weird. Where? Um, 
it's just this little thing. It's a little organ. Oh my god, I'm feeling It doesn't alive. work for guys, but for girls, they can like... It's something in the brain that if, if you touch your elbows together behind your back, it like wakes you up. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> oh, I, I've heard of that, yeah. It's something yeah, I mean, it's, about it's the hormones. Just psychological. There is like so much crazy immature shit that every like middle or high schooler probably has heard of or experienced. I'm trying to remember. Oh, dude, was, like, I, I like the one it's like, school. yo, like do the motion like you're you're shaking a salt shaker. Oh, yeah, it's like <laughs> like into your oh, mouth, oh like God, close so your funny. eyes, open your mouth. <clears throat> yeah. uh, what does it look like? Can, can you show me videos? Lord, I mean, you, you so can do funny. it. <laughs> Holy shit, Flash Everfrost? Wow, they are totally chunking this Sejuani for at least- What? Wow, that's a combo. Surely that's can not- we, Dude, can we just hit the massive wombo right there? Oh, fudge, get out of there! Yeah, oh, man, dude, that was a close one. Thank God, saving Private Fudge. Dude, that was a nice follow-up combo. How much gold has Draven got from his passive this game? <laughs> Yo, why aren't they hovering the tooltip? Come on. Yeah, stop fucking bullying, man. Oh, the Baron steal! Wait, he actually got it. They got the Baron! Get out of there! Yo, it's a yo, lost Pinta? Oh, it, was oh. that the double if 1v5 Pinta I heard about? Ooh. It was. Dude, Sneaky just slid in there, like, after saying nothing the whole game with the funniest <laughs> fucking comment. <laughs> Dude, so much damage, so much gold. I'm just trying to calculate it, I don't know. <laughs> I think it would take a real mathematician <laughs> to figure out the gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. They actually cleared the wave. And Kenvi got out. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to hell. I think you could make an argument that Tilly is just the best champ in the game right now. What? Better than Azir? I don't know. Uh, and her her E is the most outrageous ability you've ever seen. It's a fat ass range. Please go back and watch PoE Charm to Africa. Where where is it? Like the last fight of the game? It's in Africa. You just said it. I don't even think it matters what anyone does. This kind of game is like misery, steamroll, win, no hope. Give me a timestamp. Uh, oh, 2902 when he charms directly upward. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. Yeah, that's totally why they lost. Fuck, PoE. Some top five mid laner. <laughs> yes, no, definitely if that charm hits, I think. Uh, it's pretty easy cleanup for Immortals. Close fight. All right. <laughs> I'm going to hit the hay. I'm tired. <clears throat> Good oh, games, boys. Oh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Peace. It was amazing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Peace. Yep.